Welcome back to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Samantha's here. Butler, back from vacation, but not here. <laughs> That's right. In it's the on, vicinity. He's on break. Well, you know? he told me he's going to, yeah. <laughs> no. he'll he let came it. in, he went on break. Yeah, he came in. He, uh, I, think he, uh, I didn't even know he was going to be back today. Okay, here's, scared what, me. here's what he did. He came in, he checked the printer. It wasn't printing correctly. He said, someone needs to clean the wheels, and then he left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then when he got back, I was like, I didn't know you were going to be back today. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then as he was just talking and talking, I was like, oh, God. I, I wish missed he the did. <laughs> <laughs> I, I missed the silence. Yes. <laughs> you know, because there was a sweet spot of a couple days where I was yeah. just sitting there with, like, Samantha. She's, you know, I she's, don't bother you. She's just listening to her music. <laughs> Hello, butler, not my friend. <laughs> I did. Go away with your wife again. <laughs> <laughs> I had to hear her about all these cockamamie ideas he had. Yeah. And, uh, so swim up pool. So if I hear emails. about the swim up bar one yeah. more time, yeah. I'm going <laughs> to punch him right in his teeth. I'm like, yes, I swim up bar. That's not fancy <laughs> yeah, anymore. Swim like, up bar. <laughs> swim up bar. <laughs> oh. Everybody's farting and pooping in that water. It's disgusting. <laughs> Is that the least fancy, fancy thing? The swim up bar is a Caribbean chocolate fountain. <laughs> there I said it. There I said it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it and I'm not taking it back. Uh, because there, all the swim up bars I've ever been to, yes. it's always been surrounded by now, the, if you, some of the worst and this I've is, ever seen. And we're gonna, we have a guest on the line and you get to, if right, you're right, watching sorry. on Twitch or YouTube, you get to watch them I confused am. as they're watching us go <laughs> through this whole... Why do I do and this? watch how confused they get when I start talking about if you are a Caribbean barman and you are in the swim-up bar, do you have to maintain a higher level of moisturizing on your downstairs because your ding dong is in chlorine for a long time. Well, the bu- the bartender's sunken in the, he's not in the water. Some of the ones in hedonism had water. <laughs> no, no, they're ball. The bar's sunken and oh, it's wait, dry. You're right. No, you're yeah. right. And the you're water right. you right. swim up on. Right. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. That'd be bad. <laughs> He'd be like, help me. <laughs> dude, <laughs> all dry. Day. What happened? The bartender drowned. He fell in. <laughs> the Daniel like everybody's underwater. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, I know we have a theme of odysseys and adventures this week. Odysseys. We never had a theme of odysseys <laughs> yeah, and adventures. Never do. A quest. That's the quest. quest. James D. Watkins. Odyssey. <laughs> and that's your don't, stealing. Don't talk about You're it. stealing from one of Orlando's greatest creative minds. And uh, in that theme, we have another gentleman who's got the best oh, quest. name. Yeah, yeah, the quest theme. He's got the best name in Florida. Yeah, he really does. He sounds like a pro golfer. The best name for an individual that's going to drive across Florida on a lawnmower. On a Toro lawnmower. (laughs) (laughs) On Zoom with us right now, uh, joined by his brother, Chip. Uh, I'm sorry. The brother Stu. The brother Stu. There, you did it again. You did it again. The brother is Stu. The lawnmower boy is Chip. (laughs) Now he threw me (laughs) off with his. My brother Stu. I'm like, oh god, you can throw in another name. I can only do one at a time. Well, they're pretty unique (laughs) names. So, Uh, lawnmower boy is is Chip. Yes. And then, and is that your older brother Stu that we're saying? My older brother. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, on Zoom with us right now, Chip Hawthorne, who's going to be driving his lawnmower across Florida Mm -hmm. for Chip. Charity, and uh, we saw your promo video, and it's I w- really good, man. I want to know where did this start? Uh, and now, by the way, this is happening Thursday, so uh, you know you can follow it live, and we'll tell you all yep. about that. But uh, how did this idea even come about? You know, I've, it's been something I've been daydreaming about for a long time. You know, I grew up in the mower shop, and uh, mowers have always been just like, kind of in the DNA. Um, but I came back, started working here about seven years ago and, and was working with the marketing and, and we were talking just how fun it would be to drive a mower across the state and it never seemed possible i just like that's you know that's a pipe dream and uh i was talking with toro the other day about that just idea and they're like man if you are able to pull that off or interested in doing that like we'll support you in doing that and so started making phone calls and uh it is possible, and it takes about 500 phone calls, and you can do it. <laughs> so now, <laughs> we our, now originally you... thought of it, though, we thought, man, this would be easy. Yeah. We just whip this thing up, but it's taking a lot of work. Now, with yeah. this, to, just to fill in some of the, the gaps, because for us, because we do zero to little research, uh. or for the listener, 
Are you guys, do you work primarily in a, a family lawnmower yeah, is your, business? Is your dad, I'm Bill Hawthorne. Yeah. This is <laughs> Bill <laughs> Hawthorne Reliable mowers. Bill's a razor sharp blade. And th- these are my sons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and yeah. They work with me too, and yeah. they'll take and over. When you grow up, you're going to be a chip off the old uh, <laughs> uh, mower, just like me. <laughs> That's why I named you Chip. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's pretty much exactly how it is, but his yeah, name's Stan. <laughs> oh, Stan. 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 Yep. Stan Hawthorne. Stan Hawthorne. You guys, right. Dude, you yeah. guys are the best. I love the idea, and you're like, what, three generations of Mormons? Uh, well, we're the second generation taking over Main Street, but we're sixth generation Floridian. And we call ourselves Mower Barons. <laughs> Mower <laughs> Barons. Wow. Uh, now, where are you guys located? In Winter Garden. In Winter Garden. So now, oh, right there. Like, are you, are you guys near that main, like that drag where it's like super fancy and cool? Nope, we're on Fifty, which is also cool, less fancy. Uh, no, I <laughs> know they're like where the, I, I, the I, Miller's I, Ale House is where the Four Twenty Nine and the Turnpike. I know exactly where you're at. Okay, very cool, man. How long you but, guys been there? Since 2014. My, I, 27 years in business, but we've moved around and expanded our buildings a few times. Very we have cool. a couple locations now. We have a store out west in Claremont area. Awesome. Well. There's no grass out there. It won't work. It won't do well. <laughs> so uh, I hold riding lawnmowers in a high regard in my life, uh, partly because I, mean, I know a lot of ways it's over golf cart in my <laughs> eyes because it, it serves a purpose and it could kill somebody. My my <laughs> my pop up used to uh, rebuild old snapper riding lawnmowers from like I think the seventies or six. That's, I don't even that's know. That's what Andrea's dad's brother does. Yeah. He has a he the, makes those little engines. He puts them all back together. They were like old red snapper. All mechanical riding yeah, lawnmowers. Everything was powered by that. There was a time yeah. when your dirt bike, your uh, yeah. your golf go kart, your golf cart, your pressure washer, everything had that engine. It, on. it was literally the one force <laughs> Gump would ride. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he would like, many bikes. And he always had 20 acres in St. Cloud, and he'd mow uh, the entire thing himself. And like he, the, and then I grew up dreaming of one day. Did he let you sit on it? Owning, yeah, you know, like he, yeah. uh, you know, I had to mow it a couple times when I was younger. Did it blow your mind when you realized that if you got off the seat, it stopped the mower? <laughs> Yo, yeah, As yeah, a yeah, child, yeah. it blew my mind. I was like, because I, I barely. He weighed took enough. that self- safety mechanism yeah. out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, <laughs> he you know, ran himself over that? a couple times. So the, uh, the I always dreamed about g- getting. A property one day and mowing it <laughs> like yeah. that was like, like with one of I these heard, mowers with the handle. No, things, that's like a new, helicopter that one, no, no, that's no, newfangled. That's what my, I want, my I want that Dixie Chopper Toro. Like I want the <laughs> yeah, ones the zero that, like, radius. Yeah, I want the crazy ones yeah. that you can you can fit it in like turn on a dime. So, uh, Chip, <laughs> we got uh, uh, let's talk about planning this because I saw in your promo video you plan to take fifty straight across was that always the plan or was that did you find that that's the fastest route and the most i guess uh, logical for riding a lawnmower well it was always the route uh one our location is on 50 so i wanted to be able to like stop here for like a pit stop and uh eat lunch basically was kind of the whole plan and it's a straight shot it's pretty interesting just road to drive all the way through central florida yeah 50 was made for this honestly i mean yeah the one shot coast to coast you can literally start with a tire in the water on 50 and end with a tire in the gulf on 50 so that was kind of a big deal um but it wasn't easy planning that because you go through five counties uh and you have to get permission through all of them you have to get permission from f or f dot tell them your f fhp story okay so when i first was like looking into doing this this is like the first two phone calls I made for the project was to Florida Highway Patrol to see if this is legal, if possible, whatever, right? Yeah. And after Toro said, we're interested in doing it, let us know if it's possible. And I called him, and the first guy I talked to is like, man, that sounds awesome. No problem. You want to do it tomorrow? And He's I was like, like, my name's Chip, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all, right, all right. That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dang, this is easy. So I like called Toro. I'm like, hey, guys, it's game on. Like, let's do this. And you know, I called the guy back a bunch of times and planned this entire event and spent a bunch of money spent a bunch of money and, and called a lot of YouTubers and other people to be all part of it. And and then about six days ago, that officer calls me back. He's like, hey, you know, I gave you permission, uh, but my boss was at, on vacation and uh, 
you can't. You can't do it. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, <laughs> Sorry, and this is Chip again. Bye-bye. Now, now let's... Now, <laughs> oh, my God. Legally, oh okay... Oh, my God, because, this is terrible. Because to drive anything... I, I thought Chip stuck together. I know this because <laughs> I've gotten citations, and my brother yes. uh, 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 got a warrant out for his arrest for driving a dirt bike on a paved road. Correct. And it's like off-road vehicles on... Uh, like roads, they, it's it, you know obviously illegal. The, you can get a ticketed for it. You have to have proper license plate, uh, like turn signals. You know, like yeah. all the the legal stuff to yeah. ride on. The, so, th- how does that work as far as like can uh, police just override that for a stretch of time, or uh, yeah, how does that work? Yeah, it seems that, and I don't want to get myself in trouble here, but. If you hire them, they're pretty much on your team. <laughs> like it's just like, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll make whatever you need to happen mm-hmm. happen. And then, kind of the the main problem was uh, permitting. They there's some confusion on what is the law as far as driving a lawnmower on the Huge road because jurisdiction it's, it is. It's technically agricultural, and if you have one of those like red triangle things, they um, you kind of have this crazy like rite of passage, and there's no real uh law against it it's kind of the problem they say like, we don't really know we talk to fw or fdot and then they're like we don't care talk to fhp and they're they like, see we these don't red triangles. everybody's pa- passing the buck these here. red <laughs> triangles were powerless against me <laughs> i see it i just can't arrest you Hold i'm on. sorry so that one he that got one a red triangle let him go that one police officer <laughs> that said called you back and said my boss won't let me do that it was what, him. so what happened like now how'd you get past that you cut chip out so, Man. so we had an hour where we were bummed out, kind of running our hands through our hair, and then we said, we're doing it anyway. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. 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 Chip! Chip! Yeah, Chip. Chip and Sue! I Chip and Sue! Know. We'll say F2! <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't want to get you into trouble either. Now, oh. I... I feel now I'm not to s on any plans here, no, but don't I, yuck uh, on their young. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Chip and stew. Ch- I f- ch- ch- chip and stew and red triangles. Ch- ch- chip now, and stew. obviously, this is going to be pr- promoted a lot. We're talking about it now, and it's social media, and it, like he called in some influencers, and those so, guys got yank. So the police will be aware. I feel like yes, I see what you're saying, like agricultural, and like I've seen tractors drive down the road without a license plate, and they. Have I've always had the red Normally triangle. Normally land, I see Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Like, it, it, like rural areas. But on 50, you start hitting pretty congestion, yeah. like uh, You're traffic. You're dodge lowriders. Oh, man. And, and, <laughs> and, it's going to get dodgy in there. And, DUI bike. And is there something yeah. illegal about holding traffic up? I feel right. like a cop could start effing with you just because there's a line of cars behind you or whatnot. Agreed. And, and we don't want to be, uh, you know, a curse to the city on April 8th, right? Like, we want to be... A blessing and all that stuff so i did i have called all the sheriff counties after that whole fdot thing or not fdot but the florida highway patrol i did call all the sheriff's uh, offices for the five counties and i have escort through uh four of the five and uh a different florida highway patrol has escorted me to the last county also in addition to that we i rented a thing called a crash truck and it has a, a, an object called an attenuator on the back. It's basically like a 10 foot extendable crash zone bumper that hangs out the back and with a giant like indicating arrow mm-hmm. that tells traffic to get over. Um, and you know, we're just You're still going to make so many them. people mad. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> so, like, but Hold on, no, I'm not listening. No, doing so, it for chair. Yeah, like, yeah. Just go around him. Yeah, just go around him. You yeah. know, it's like, I, I, it's another thing. I've never understood the people. Like, you know when you you see a funeral procession? Right. And people you, are zipping and around. And then you get all mad about it? Like, yeah. that one, I, I'm sorry. That one, I do not understand. I don't get it. I don't get you know, You don't need to get all mad. You could have been that guy. They're running late. So I guess that's your fault. <laughs> so I mean, have you planned it out timing wise so you don't hit like the oh. the red zone of traffic oh, yeah. between Everybody's trying to get in hot dog heaven. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly be, between like Bithlo and uh, like when you right get past, past downtown. When you get past like uh you know all John Young and uh, everything like into the beginning of uh like past the fairgrounds and stuff, then it starts leaning out a little bit again. Sure. But it, there's a lot of mileage of heavy traffic. Have yeah. you timed it out so you hit that during the least traffic times? Yeah, I mean, somewhat. Uh, there's a certain just like, uh, 
limitation what you could do because I'm going so far uh, in one day. And so we're trying to start as early as possible so that I'll hit that kind of zone. Unfortunately, between like 9.30 and 10.30, 11. So, you know, it should be after the very earliest morning rush. Like that should be like in the way out, like Christmas area. Um, but hopefully we'll be hitting that zone after the earliest part of or the busiest part of the day. And how long do you think this is going to take you in total? If we start at six, I mean, I'm not a hundred percent sure with traffic what it'll be, but I'll be averaging ten miles an hour. It's 130 miles, so 13 hours if I just like nonstop, but with like breaks and refueling, and we're gonna stop at Main Street Mower at lunchtime at noon, and so we're gonna be here for about an hour and just kind of meet and greet and say hi and let me. Very drive cool. Are house. you gonna do <laughs> now? I would I would encourage you to do this for the kind of the complexity and for the sanctitude of your your bit but you should have your brother on a chase mower refuel you while you're going like they do larger bombers <laughs> you know, in the air. Jets. Uh, yeah, yeah. La larger jets you should uh, have the tube to, comes yeah, out he, yeah he should have to <laughs> mower up next to you and then tube over a gas tube uh. right and then and, and put that. it into your mower and then dump Ask it on that a way. Sandwich on a pole. Yeah, that way you don't ever have to leave the mower, you know? Now it's just a thought. Oh, yeah. It's just a thought. Now I like it. Yeah. Uh, I know Stu is familiar maybe more familiar with my radio antics back in the day, but I did ride uh, is this the new part of the show called <laughs> Impress Stu. <laughs> no, oh no. I just I yeah. I rode a fifty cc uh, scooter, the same ones that I jump in Grave Digger with yeah, it, yeah. from Brooksville to Maitland on fifty one time. Yeah. Oh, oh that's about Tom, everybody. Oh. It's about Tom. It's not about no, stew. It's no, not about no. chip. I just, Anything I, you can do, Tom can do better. No, no. Uh, I mean, this is. Oh, <laughs> did you do it for charity? No, like this no I did it for pure greed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> actually, no. I did it for nothing, which is dumber. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you just said greed at a high five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it for no money, stupid radio fame for nothing. Uh, so uh, I can make an argument and help the uh, show a little bit. And I, I, I think it actually hurt children. <laughs> like it, it hurt a lot of people. Anyway, so, uh, but I'm just giving some advice because I wrote that stretch fair enough from at least from brooksville You've back done it. i can't i can't take that away from you you have done this and i feel like there is a couple different breaks where there's just a long endless nothing where you could probably at least get off to the side of the road let cars pass and then yeah. get back on you know what i'm saying like you don't yeah. have to be the uh, I'm sitting there dead. You know, I is that your plan? You let cars go. You get back on the road. <laughs> yeah, 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 I like I like what he's doing. That's, <laughs> now, what, are you wearing a helmet? No. <laughs> okay. He's not gay. That's no, good. Yeah. Wow. Got, hey, well, as soon as I, as soon as I said that, had you said yes, I had my finger on the zoom button. I was ready to end the interview. <laughs> so, uh, Definitely I, <laughs> elbow pads and wrist pads. So. Uh, now, with this kind of mower, is there like uh oh, it, COVID? It's, no, <laughs> you no, may not make no, it. You may no. not make it to the event. He's by, no, he's by himself. He's fine. So yeah, he's leaving a trail of COVID clippings the, behind him. This is a uh, this is a Toro mower, but it's the zero radius, like both. Like straight, both down to go forward. <laughs> like well, spin. you had a, you had a nanny. Do you know what Toro is Spanish for? Bull. Oh, <laughs> Do I know that. We got a real genius here, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you have it. So it's both <laughs> down for full speed straight ahead. Is there a way to lock that in so you don't have to? Hold on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean like biker cruise control? <laughs> yeah. We have a thumb yeah. throttle lock. Just something. There are some nice armrests, honestly, and you could kind of just push them forward and. It pretty much does it. You're sitting in like a lazy boy chair. Now, are you okay. running the blade? Or are you going to, you know, if anybody gets too close, you drop that blade down and blow their garden gnomes everywhere, right? <laughs> if I need to. I am ready to engage. Yeah, like if somebody's like, oh, what do we got here? Charity mower, uh, man. You just ride right through his well, garden. Hold on. That's a good question. Did, <laughs> did you take the non-essential weight off like the blades and some of the other any heavy things yeah. that you don't need to, to lighten the load? I'm sure you can. I don't know if I'll need to, though, really. I mean, it's going to be... Uh, That's a no, Tom. It you know, yeah. has more engine than it needs to do just going straight. And know? plus, he's he's kind of got the blessing and the goodness of Toro. I'm sure that if this goes well, he could be, you know, he'd be top bull, if you know what I mean. You uh, know? In the market, uh, maybe the, the rep will give him a... 
are, help. Are you going to uh, accurately track your time just in case this is some sort of record that could be beaten in the future? Yeah, I definitely yeah. want to. And we're going to have, like, like I said, that live video feed, but also like a find my iPhone link on our moathon.com website. And uh, so it'll have like an official start time and finish time. And this is awesome. It, it'll have to be where it ha there has to be the rules of it. It has to be a stock mower that actually could cut grass if you needed to. Because if not, someone oh, just, yeah. someone's just going to put the body. All the yahoos come out of the woodwork. <laughs> They're just going to put the body of a lawnmower on a miniature like uh, smart you car. Rockets, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, and then you're just going down 50, uh, like 40, 50 miles just an hour. navigating yeah. traffic. And you're like, I did it in an hour and a half. <laughs> like, you know, It has to be a standard yeah. lawnmower that could literally cut grass if you needed. I think I'd like for you to stay on grass the whole time and see if you could cut a path. That'd be kind of cool, too. Is there That'd be cool, like the median. Just yeah, like you're cutting a full path, and then we can walk behind you to raise extra money. <laughs> now, not not to worry you at all, <laughs> no. and I know oh, we got to go, go soon, but um, is there any chance... Sam that, and I both groan collectively <laughs> when you open your mouth. That, <laughs> just like the first police officer you talked to, that some of the other police officers just told Taze you. Tase him! You know, <laughs> or, or, no, just told you whatever, and they forget to show up, or whatever you're driving, you hit, like, uh, whoop, whoop. you know, Orlando proper, and then no one, you're calling, whoop. and they're like, who you I don't know who you're talking right, to. Right. And then, oh, and my, then, he's storming the Capitol. They're, here, <laughs> you know, they're bashing the riot gear on your head. And then they literally, they uh, someone pulls you over, and, like, you could not do this. Turn, go back, have someone pick you up, and, like. Do you have paperwork to show them that says you yeah, are right. right. I've got Chip's <laughs> cell phone number. And you give it like the, how chip doesn't even work with our department how steadfast are you chip are you willing to just uh like if they, they at tell some you point you gotta slam those <laughs> handles to full speed chase. no you gotta go yeah. full rabbit and you gotta take off through the gully are you, yeah, are you really <laughs> willing full rabbit to uh complete this task under any how circumstances much do you care about the habitat for humanity yeah 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 I care, and I'm going to go for it, guys. Yeah, I know. Right. Right. Well, it's full rabbit if I've ever heard it. <laughs> yeah, I, got, I got two stories to tell you about, Chip. Make them quick. Okay. Are you guys familiar with the butler chain? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's what we chain butler to the bathroom with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, where, it's where Shaq lives. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Chip has swam from one lake all the way through the entire chain to the end lake. It's 11 lakes. And when we were both in college, he was in St. Augustine. I was in Gainesville. One day he shows up at my back door in my apartment and he had walked from St. Augustine to Gainesville. <laughs> So he's a crazy drunk. Isn't he? <laughs> Are you saying he's the Florida's Forrest Gump? <laughs> he, just, he just starts running one day. Gump. He's Beach Gump. Because like, there's no Forrest Ch here. Champ, where are you running to? He just kept running and just hit the main and kept going to California. Rain Forrest Gump. Because <laughs> it's so human here. I'm trying to think of a good name for him. Like walking, mower, there's a lot of things. Um, you got a ping pong chip. <laughs> <laughs> but to answer that question, I also like, um, you know, I do have a lot of these emails with all these sheriffs and things, and I don't have an official paperwork from any of oh, them. And it that could happen. Like, absolutely. The only thing I really have is it, I didn't get it until like one hour ago was full permission from FDOT, which is the Florida Department of Transportation. Oh, that's huge. And, yeah. Yeah. And so that is, that's the only thing I'm really going to be hanging on to. And I'll be like, you guys don't have jurisdiction here. This lady gave me permission. Yeah. And uh, luckily, it was the nicest lady I ever talked to. Bernie like, Dad at uh, FDOT says, uh -huh. you can't stop me, cop. <laughs> 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 well, uh, okay. Well, Chip, will you promise us something on Thursday? When what? When will you think you'll hit close to downtown Orlando? Because 50 is right near the studio. We can we'll just go up there with our mobile equipment <laughs> and cheer you on. Yeah, yeah. we, we can. We'll TikTok you or something. Yeah. We could drive up the street three minutes and hit 50 and see you come by it's like once you pass hot dog heaven give oh, us a call yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and if things are going yeah. bad tom will bring his rusty revolver we throw down some uh like what, do they, call back, that? Chip. what do they call that when you throw down the fire to like cover yeah, we'll yeah, throw down yeah, cover yeah. To, you can cut in behind the amscot where they were casey anthony's mom found the baby <laughs> so, come on. Oh my. <laughs> so what Say that. It's the only way well, I know that one. So when you pass Hot Dog Heaven, give us a call, Chip, and we'll come out with the mobile equipment and watch yeah, yeah. you drive by. Well, actually, uh, we'll just go to Hot Dog Heaven, but have a good time. <laughs> uh, and uh, because I will be recording around that time. Yeah, so, yeah it'll uh, be great. And how can people watch this, Chip? Tell everybody how can they watch it live because you're doing a live broadcast, and how can they donate? 
Yeah, so moathon.com is going to have all the links there, and that's moathon.com. And uh, basically, it'll have our Facebook live event. And, you know, they only let you record for so long. And if I lose connection, we're just going to have to keep reposting on Facebook live. Uh, so it's just like that page, and you can just stay up to date for the latest video. Um, and that moathon.com will also have our GoFundMe uh, page, and that'll have the link to the West Orange Habitat for Humanity. That's who we're raising all this money for. And, um, yeah, that's how you can follow, guys. Just I love sign it, up there, Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, I have a lot of fun content on there. If you're interested in mowers and stuff like that, uh, Main Street Mower. Hey, thanks for the time, man, and what you're doing is super cool. And thanks to your brother for listening, and hopefully you will listen uh, as well because we need younger baby-faced people sure, like you yeah. listening. I got to ride this into the sunset, so mm. we need the younger guys listening, not the older brothers. Yeah, yeah. I Stu. think God. <laughs> yeah, and I think I'm this, kidding. I'm joking. This is just the beginning of Chip's uh, adventures. adventures. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing you know, we'll be riding a lawnmower uh, to Alaska. I mean, I like it. Uh, you know the furthest anybody's ever ridden a lawnmower? I feel like there's been a movie yeah. made about some old man that rode a lawnmower to see his... Uh, well, there was Grand the, the lawnmower man. There's that movie, the <laughs> yeah, lawnmower man. Yeah, but he was in the internet. Yeah, <laughs> but he was a little off, right? Yeah. Are you like that, Jim? No, but there there was a guy a few years ago who rode one through all 48 continuous states. Uh, and it was like 15,000 miles because he had to like zigzag all over. Oh, my God. That's yeah, too far. That, guy, that <laughs> yeah, is yeah, an yeah. idiot. You're <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, You're cool. Yeah, that guy yeah. is just dumb. Yeah, that, that's too long. That's too yeah. What's crazy is he's raised like twelve hundred dollars and it took him a year that's a good yeah. ending, all right it's chip Stu. thank you guys so much we'll talk to you soon okay yeah sounds good guys. all right, all right. Later, guys. You guys. thank you guys they're awesome man that was fantastic oh, oh <laughs> what a way to end uh, sad <laughs> And then somebody in the chat room says, poor dumb old man. <laughs> uh, oh, dude, we should, we should definitely, what's the chances we forget? Oh. I'm like, didn't Jim to reply to God? Well, what happened I'm sure to email me. Yeah. And then for the chat room had a lot of good questions. Like, what happens if uh, people try to push him off the mower while he's riding up? Like, who no would do going to push him off the mower. <laughs> I just, I am skeptical that the cops are going to be there waiting for him because they don't have time for this. They the also PS. don't read their memos. No. You know, you get the memo, no fifth. Cops. I don't read my memos. Oh, yeah. I'm just going on what everybody does. Not it has nothing to do with it, your job or anything, right? It's just what humans do. Yeah. Sam will send me a memo. I will not read the memo. The memo says, "Hey, Dan, don't forget, Chip will be riding his mower down the street. Don't arrest him, right?" That's what it says. Yeah. And I don't read it. And I, then I gun him down on the side <laughs> yeah, you, of the road. During anything I've ever done in my entire life, anytime someone said, "Go up to the gate. There's tickets waiting for you. They'll know who you <laughs> are." <laughs> yeah. yeah. This yeah, happens like, every like, time. Never I tell them that. You're here to yep. do this. Every single time, every single time, never not once has someone said, I'll ride this way. So they've right. always said, well, I don't know what you're talking about. Yep. <laughs> it's happened. Who are you? Accurate. So that's, I have no faith in anybody. All right. Bye bye. Welcome back to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Dan. I'm Tom. Let's do the thing. Let's do it. Sometimes I forget to sing on the porkin' theme. That's what I do. This morning when I came in, I knew that Tom had taken a poo. Because the bathroom fan was on, it must have been left on for all night. It was sucking up those doo doo flies and making them see the night. It's the worst one I've ever done. You need to turn that fan off, there, buddy. I haven't do that. Who's Pork and brought to you by Porky's Barbecue right there in Apopka. They do catering for any size event, so just go. Oh. You can't handle the truth. Porky's in Apopka. <laughs> All right, this week in Who's Pork, and we mentioned this a few weeks ago in passing when we were talking about something else, but ABC is rebooting. The Celebrity Dating Game. Now, remind me what this is again. So, seemingly, I, I never watched it back in the day, um, so I'm not sure how it was back from 1965 to 1973, but 2021 version of the dating game uh, has regular civilians that will uh, try and 
uh, figure out who the celebrity is behind the wall, and then they get to pick which celebrity they want to da- go on a date with. No, but it's not a real date, right? It's just he gets <laughs> and to And also, like, what mm, caliber celebrity. of celebrity is it going to be? It's going to be low oh, low. Yeah, it's going to yeah, be like, yeah, yeah. Uh, you get... Yeah. Um, they're snooky. Yeah, you get... She's married. You get, well, <laughs> well she can still be on there. You get, I mean, they're not uh, actually... They're like, now you have sex. <laughs> like, you know, you go to a lunch... At the, I feel like they're at you know, Panera Bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then it's surrounded. Your publicist is there. Kidoba, You're not maybe. by yourself with it, you know. Yeah, you, you go over to the Kidoba, or they have it set up in the green room where there's like a catered Hot. lunch, and then you yeah. sit there and you talk to them. I can't have pictures. sex next to a party stop. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. Guess who the hosts of the reboot are going to be? Uh, it's a man it's and a, a woman. It's a man and a woman. Okay, yeah, they got to even it out. Um, Give a little bit of, for the guys, a little bit for the girls. It's going to be Mario Lopez. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's and good. Jessica Simpson. <laughs> that is not a bad guess. You got anything over there, Tom? I just picked two people that my wife mentioned to me last That probably would night. be better than who they picked, What's I think. the stage host from America's Got Talent? Um, Nick Cannon? Uh, Nick Cannon. No, he thinks all white people uh, are uh, le- uh, are <laughs> lower than animals. What was his quote? <laughs> yeah, guy's guy, right? like, he I agree with a, that. He wears a turban now. Yeah, I <laughs> like him. <laughs> I, it's so Nick Cannon uh-huh. and then the female is going to be uh, Rhea- Nene Leakes. Oh, uh, what's the famous from the Real great. Housewives? Uh, Nene Leakes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is it, is I'm it, sorry. Yeah. Who are you, who, who are you but, guessing? No, she's, she's big money now, though, right? Someone from Real Housewives. I don't know. Like, she would be big money now. Like they She's wouldn't. pretty big money. But pretty, ABC's got that money? Yeah, that's true. Uh, they so, got no, Disney you're money. all wrong. It is going to be Zoe Deschanel. Oh, I like her. And Michael Bolton. I like Weird. him. He's, he's, a, he's also actually producing the show. He's so. funny, though. That guy does not take himself seriously. Remember when he did the Lonely Island song? Yeah, 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 yeah. That guy does not. He also did some weird uh, Valentine's Day special yeah, he's this weird. year. Uh, so, yeah. Um, that does not seem like a good pair to me, but what do I know? He, <laughs> They're both musicians. Uh, and who's the other one? The... Zoe Deschanel and Michael Bolton. Well, they will be able to sing. Right. Together. So I hope they do this theme song. And she always does that lower voice, sultry style singing, you know? She's not like a, you know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Like she's more of a crooner. Yeah. So how is the actual setup? Is it one like person? And three celebrities. And three I celebrities believe, yeah. and they're behind some sort of silk screen or yeah. whatever like mm-hmm. that. Kind of, and then they ask questions. They have to guess who the celebrity is? Yes. Uh, they have to guess the secret identity of the celebrity contestant based on clues and questions. So it's mass Singer but with a date. Basically. And no and then, singing. And then when they guess the right one. I wonder one, if they're going to disguise their voices because a lot of people got some pretty distinct yeah. voices, you know? They they'd have to right. I mean, you'd be it'd be. Hey, easy. what's up? Uh, <laughs> I'm your first celebrity, and uh, I would just like to say that I'm in an upcoming movie. It will be out very soon. The name of the movie is Black Widow. <laughs> Do you know who that is? <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm going to be in the movie Black Widow. Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, Scarlett no, okay. Johansson. Wow, look at that. So It's just that easy, Sam. Yeah, right? Now you get to go on a date with yes. her. Yes. Can I bring that. Colin Jost with us? No, oh, okay. just go alone. Now, is the purpose to guess the celebrity the fastest or guess the celebrity no, that you want to go on a date I with? I think it's one contestant, three celebrities. I believe how the, that's how the old yeah. school dating game was, right? Yeah, and you would go, number one, what is your idea of a great... Oh, it was like mystery date, right? Oh, like, yeah. that. wasn't that how it went? So, and th- there was a serial killer that was on right, the correct. show. So it doesn't even you don't even know who the celebrity is. You're just you're gonna, guessing who they are. You're guessing who they are, but then you're but the, the the dating game is you just you just ask the the contestants a question and then you pick who you want to go on a date with. You might pick you might uh, guess the celebrity wrong and still pick them. And then you're screwed because you might be thinking you're going on a date with Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, and you get and dogged about him. <laughs> yeah. Her, right? Okay, all right. All right. He you... would be great on there, by the way. <laughs> Don't underestimate the dog. <laughs> so Hates drugs. I might check it out just to see how I'll bad it is. I'll check it out. Christian Turnaround. It's the type of show that I would like to watch with my wife so we can talk ABC about it. ABC has brought back not only the celebrity dating game, uh, they got celebrity family feud, they got to tell the truth, the $100,000 pyramid, match game, press your luck, who wants to be a millionaire, supermarket sweep. And most recently, Celebrity Wheel of Fortune. They are running on the, the game shows yeah. this year. What was this big thing that well, not there's to There's an pivot. abundance of, a quote, celebrities because mm. everybody's a celebrity. Yeah, so yeah you the get, reality stars. You can get every in, yeah. the Instagram. Got, all you oh, need to God. throw on there, you need Lil Rel, a couple of influencers. There's there's a 100 shows with uh, 15 different 
Yeah. Quote, well, celebrity Kim Jong is the judge and creator of like nine of those shows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He King. cashed in on that. Yeah, I'm kind of over that guy. Yeah. Too much. Yeah, it is too much. And like his jackets are getting more and more awful. <laughs> so. <laughs> that guy's got awful jackets. I'd love to see, like they don't show you the actual date, right? Uh, I don't or, think so. Or, or see, do they do a recap? That's what you want. You want Like a limit Oh, they should Dude, do celebrity eliminate. Eliminate was the ass. Yes, it was. That show. <laughs> Bring it back. You want to make me happy? Put me in bed with Profifol and let me watch <laughs> just eliminate and pop up video for the rest of my life and leave me alone and just feed me like Krispy Kreme uh, donuts and beer. Break it up with a little bit of cheaters in there. I do a little cheaters. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh Remember cheaters. when that guy got stabbed on uh, TV? <laughs> on the pontoon boat. I, I know who. That was good. Look, I know who I want on my desert island. You and I off the junk food horrible yes. TV. Oh, the circle's coming eliminate, back. Eliminate, dude. Eliminate was awesome. Yeah, I loved it. So there's two, like, probably realities to the date. One is if they do show the actual date, it's a completely staged. Of course, and every yeah. single piece of a stage. If it is actually a date and they don't film it, then it's the lamest, like, the publicist is there yeah. at a controlled location where you sit down, you take some pictures, yeah. and then you sign some yeah. autographs. And our you date like, just happened to be at Wahlberg's. You, you do a, Wahlbergers, yeah. you know, and then they God. do a zoom in of it. You do some small talk, and then you get the hell out of there, right? Like, there's no way... Uh, any celebrity is spending time alone with any no, uh, Yucko. Uh, you know, fan Yucko, Yucko from Grosso. a game show. right? But we think that because there's always that one porno girl that says something like, I'm going to have sex with one of my fans. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like, yeah, I like that one. <laughs> yeah, but they don't. I don't think they ever no, do. No, they don't. I don't think they ever have. I think because some of them are real. No, because there's a no. chance Hold on, they're going to roll it. the dice. And oh, don't get ruin it for Tom. Don't think he's got a chance. Well, they, they vet them. I mean, they know what they're walking into, but I no, think but it's I, actually a But person. I wouldn't want to enter if I knew that there was a chance they'd be like, ew, he's that short, gross. You know, and then I'd be like, I, <laughs> really, right. I really won, but and you're right. And she and didn't want to sleep with me because really, I'm disgusting. It's a porn star that actually technically is a fan because all guy porn stars probably watch porn. You know what I'm saying? So, right. take, so he knows what he's doing. He's not yeah. just some uh, He's got chungus, big ears. Yeah. He's just got big ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. it. He can't make it in the real business, no. but uh, he could do the uh, F a fan video. Yeah, he's F a good, fan. Yeah, he's That's good enough called. for that. And then I watch F-a-fan. it. Fafan.com. And then I watch it and I'm like, wow, work for that guy. And I got okay ears. <laughs> so the actual, did they ag- announce any of the celebrities in the actual Not game in show? this article. And they probably won't. It'll probably be a surprise each week. So which list, because now I, when you say D list, I, I don't even know what the hell that means. At this because, point, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> because I honestly. You'd want to you, think younger people too, right? Like you're not going to be picking people in their 40s and 50s for a dating game, right? Uh, let me, wh- do you I'm put, not saying that's weird. I'm just saying it's weird for TV. Do you, you put, see what I'm saying? Like yeah. if you're single in 40, that's fine. But I'm saying for TV, like what are you gonna, what, are you gonna have Frank Stallone on there? You gonna have like uh, well, he's in his 60s, I bet. Or, but you know <laughs> what I mean? Like are you gonna have like younger people because younger people date? Yeah, I'm like I'm guessing like Logan Paul. Would you put him as a D list? No, he's I, higher than that. I I, th- I would, but I put him in higher because I he's more him, famous than you know, like yeah. D list. Unfortunately, means, I want to do what Sam's doing, but I think in doing that, well, I age myself. Well, he's just a YouTube myself. star. Yeah, but yeah, he's but a he, massive but, star. But if you go, but like just with how many people, how many eyes are on you, how many people consume your content, he's way higher than oh any he of was these a reality Masked show. Singer. Somebody's saying he was on Masked Singer. I yeah. checked out of that show, and now. Yeah. With all this promotion with the boxing and garbage he's doing or whatever, like he's pretty famous and rich. And so like he's worked his way up to C at least. I wouldn't put him B because he's not, you know, like, but he's not a D. The chat room going at you a little bit. Um, this is from Ghost of Minute Bull, your buddy. He says, Tom constantly rails on the fool who really thought Vince McMahon's limo blew up. <laughs> but he thinks some of the fans who shoot a scene with porn stars are real. He's no better than the buffoon he met at Calico Jacks. How dare you? Wow. Man. Okay, so here's how- <laughs> That's mean, man. That is mean. Hold on. You're, you're just straight getting waxed there, in the chat room. How, Manute, how- I've seen a lot of these videos, and some of them are like the guy could be- See, you do like fun. Had, it's in there because I don't even believe he, this. He could have never maybe – he's got like a – got the right size hog 
and he's like, and he, he can perform well enough, but maybe he never did a video before. At least there's that. You know what I'm saying? He's not a established, like, he hasn't made videos. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, but, <laughs> I, but I think in saying that, you're admitting that the guy is closer than the average yeah, nerd yeah, yeah. with just. No, of course. Like, right, so yeah. it's actually, they're actually doing it the opposite way, where the celebrity. Um, there will be two celebrities each episode who will each choose their match between the three bachelors, bachelorettes. So the celebrity will be cho- choosing. Got, okay, yeah, yeah. Bachelor- and it says um, sense, the yeah. celebrity's identity will remain a secret to their dates until Michael Bolton sings them some clues to help the contestants figure it out. So he will be singing the clues. All right. To the contestants. This is going to be and Guess at the end who the celebrity is that chose them. Oh, I'll watch this. Going to be really dumb. So the celebrity chooses from the dating game. They're like the, the one asking, game. like, what's your perfect date? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she chooses the date. But, he or she, yeah. But then, you know, he or she, and, but the actual people, the regular people, don't know who it who is. the celebrity is. But they'll have to guess or they'll reveal It'll it. It'll probably be, like, whoever the celebrity is will make their decision and then Michael Bolton will probably sing to that winner who who it is, and <laughs> they have to doing? guess who the celebrity is. Oh God, it's all such trash! The, I'm gonna watch all it. All these shows are just high <laughs> ideas now, right? Yes. Like, yeah, like well, it's high reboot ideas. It's stoner, like some writers sitting around, like, what if we had dating game? <laughs> but then Michael <laughs> Bolton, Michael Bolton, Bolton, Bolton sings the clues, man. It's, it's, it's a high idea. That's they're yeah. like, oh, they all laugh and they're you know like, what, man, stinks if Vern Troyer's dead because we need a <laughs> Cupid. <laughs> it's like it's just stupid. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and. And the the celebrities that do this, they do it just for the fame, right? And money, they, they get, get paid. paid. Yeah, it says paid that they it. will they will all be single and quote looking for love. No, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's, They say that it's, on the regular dating shows too, and they're not real. So it, it's a like a publicist calls you. They're like, hey, they want you for this dating game. It gets <laughs> uh, you know two and a half million viewers on ABC. Blah blah. It's good for your you know. Uh, yeah, but this will be the first season of it, so who knows if anybody will even watch it. Yeah, but it, they, they, they probably have First a standard. Season, yeah, they they're know. like they're like enough of the Midwest just has their TV on ABC just yeah. to get a million there. You know what I'm saying? Like it's of the old people, like people that just have like let's see what's on ABC. Well, they, tonight. they can get a good idea. <laughs> they'll they'll just they'll just bookend it behind something that's already doing well. Yeah, they're, they're, so they'll know it'll have a good opening. You know, there is a lot of people with nothing to do. I and it's surprising to me all the time because I'm it's like busy all the time with the kids and the work and the yeah. all. The, and I think there's just a tremendous amount of people that just sit down at uh, 6.30 and they're like, I got nothing to do. And they just turn on the TV and I just get, when I, when hours I had a corporate waste job, time. I had that. Like, I oh, remember yeah. what it was like to go home and then to, like lay on my bed with nothing to do, just staring at the ceiling. Like, yeah, you're just Ooh. waiting for the next day. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that is a what's my wife doing? Crazy. I'll text, oh, she's working. She'd be at, like working at Ikea or something. Mm. And I just have all this time off and nothing to do. No kids, no responsibilities. How much Pocket m- of your net worth would you bet that there would there would be no long-term relationships from the show? 100% of your net worth? Mm. Got to have a net worth to bet. <laughs> no, I'm saying like every yeah, cent yeah, I would. every yeah, cent I would every cent I have. Yeah. God, but there's uh, there's a small yeah. no. minute. Yeah. I, I, I hate yeah. to sound like there's you. Small yeah, yeah, yeah. I know bowl. you love these, but I'm going all in on this. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Thing. And you know what the complete there, garbage. There is a, a point of me where I enjoy those would you say those and I'm going to go yeah, yeah this yeah, yeah, will yeah. never happen. Well, no one will ever find yeah. love in this and Because uh, I don't even think most of those shows I'd love to do the average if you did all of them. Like all of those shows because there have been people that have gone into those with the idea that, you know, I can't find it conventionally. Maybe this oh, is the bachelor. way I have to right, find it. Right. You know, there are people that I believe go into that with a pure heart. Is there? And, th- and I don't think, what, maybe 1%? Is there anybody in history that is, is still together? Yes. That, from a reality show? From yes. a reality show, but five years ago. Like, I'm not talking about from last year, Bachelor or oh, whatever. Yeah. What like about that? the original real world? Aren't, isn't that couple still together? The two doctors? I think they're- But they started, I'm saying got together through a reality yes. game no, show. That, well, it was a reality TV show. It wasn't a game show. No, I believe that there is one Bachelor couple that worked out. One. From, I believe there's one. From The Bachelor or Bachelorette? It, the same thing. Okay. But yeah. yeah, it was the girl was the love interest and he was- Trista select. and Ryan Sutter yep. from Bachelorette season one. That's it. And they're still together? Yep. That's the one. Wow. Been together and married since 2003. That's but the wow. one. Wow. And they had a TV wedding. Yep, that's it. 
That's, that's the, the I one. Think that's the, the only one that's from why, the original. That's why when you say I'll bet my one hundred percent of my net worth, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. because I, I think it's already happened, I, <laughs> and it, it was because the pressure was so, and because you'll and never. It was season one. You'll so never it's probably get, there's the a couple that were real. real. Yeah. You'll yeah. never get that level of innocence again with that show, yeah. will you? After the popularity of season one, then everybody just wanted to go on to be famous, and right. then no way is it ever going to work out. Yeah, interesting. All right, um, thank you, Samantha. I appreciate mm-hmm. that, and uh, bye bye. Welcome back to a Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. Samantha and Butler are here. And hi. Um, voicemails. Yep. I'm going to dig into our bag here, pull up a few, and play them like this one right here. Hey, guys. This is uh, BDM Josh in Avalon Park. Um, so today's April 1st. I mean, the world-renowned April Fool's Day 2021 is upon us. Um, can we just stop? Can, can we just stop with all the stupid... Listen, I, I was on Facebook for a couple minutes this morning and just all these companies are making the stupid shit for uh, April Fool's Day. It's just... I don't even... I scroll past it. I, I don't know. It, it just... I, I really just want to get Tom's opinion on... on is, is this even... Is this, is this even a, a good for business? Is it just... Are these people just fucking around? It's just... I don't know. It's... Okay, you get the idea. Yeah, yeah. So I too hate April Fool's Day, um, but I I felt bad for it this year, and I'll explain. Um, for the day itself? <laughs> yeah, for the okay. day. And the general, I guess, uh, uh, general a- fool. aspect of it or intention of it, right? And here's why I felt bad for it, because in a day and age where everything's fake news, April Fool's fake news just gets lost in the okay. uh, all the other BS that's out there. And then so people have become so used to scrolling past and being skeptical of all these memes and news stories and BS. Sure. That you see that April Fool's has less of an effect because it just gets drowned out by other the other fake news that happens 365 and it's no longer it doesn't fool anybody because everybody's too skeptical. For instance, I saw some April Fool's jokes about trades and you know because I follow a lot of sports stuff so mm-hmm. I get uh, that's what I gets into my feed because the sure. you know the, the programs yeah yeah the algorithms algorithms so uh, a lot of fake trade news happened but I don't I didn't fall for it because I'm used to all the fake trade news before to begin with yeah. be, and yeah. then all the people making the fake stuff so it's just like it's not special anymore it's all just blended into everything's fake news and then the the traditional pranks I feel like no one does anymore because they got so lazy that they would rather do the memes and internet pranks. Like the only one that got me was almost like a reverse of an April Fool's joke. And I, I mentioned this in like our group uh, chat. It was the Tapachico seltzer that I wanted to try. Mm-hmm. I thought that was April Fool's because I'm like, why would these guys make hard seltzer? I mean, White Claw's already got it on lock, plus they do it the best. But it was real. So it was almost like they released it on April Fool's to... Beat Start the carpet, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then it worked for me. And then, then I actually found the stuff, and see, you know, it's weird. See, Very that's weird. a smart marketing ploy because then people are like, "This is fake. It's April Fool's joke." And they're like, like no, "No, it's not. Real. I had it." Yeah. You know, it's like, right. it's like uh, but like, I, I, that's exactly what I said to Sam. I was like, "I thought that wasn't real because you you posted a picture of it, right?" Yeah, but I think people got it. Yeah, and f- all the other big corporate uh, stuff, I agree, is cheesy, well, stupid. Even the city of Orlando did one. Did, did you see this theirs? year? No, yeah, they it. did one where it was like. What did they call it? The the Swan Dive? Yeah. Oh, I did and see that. And it was that. like an underwater restaurant that they were building under in Under Lake Eola. Yeah, yeah, under Lake Eola for you to eat in. And dumb. I'm like, well, that's dumb. I mean, Nobody I would believe that unless you're an absolute idiot. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I yeah. saw it and I was kind of like, <laughs> you know, if you really want to get us, build that. I, I'll, <laughs> go, I'll go eat at it. Sam, you say that and I run across things all the time on my social media and I look at it and I'm like, this is so stupid. Who would believe? And then I look at the comments, everybody believes it. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and now the like, April, like other, right. uh, other crazy things. And I'm like, oh my God. Like no, we right. are doomed. Yeah. yeah they're, uh, they're, I've lost faith in people. And then they do this thing where the new thing is like, I even though it's fake, it's still interesting. Yeah, like, no, it's, it's not. It's still funny. No, no, no. no. The whole <laughs> point. No, you're an idiot. Please. Yeah. 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 Hot take. And you're you know, an idiot. I agree with this guy. It's all stupid. I, a- yeah. April Fool's. I hate April now, Fool's. I think just tr- get rid of it. No. Yeah. I'd rather just celebrate Butler's birthday, springtime, 
Mm-hmm. You know, that's better. Like April Fool's means nothing to me. What are you? You're wasting my time. You're I don't have time for jokes. Goddamn liar. I would. Uh, I I do like the the actual traditional pranks, but it, you can't do them on April Fools because it gives it away. You know what I'm saying? So right. if you go through that uh, much effort to actually do a legitimate good prank, you're never gonna do an April Fools because it would immediately yeah, uh, kill it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's it's a pl- complete waste. You can't do any complicated pranks because they'll know. Well, we gotta wait. And all the memes. We'd have to like swear it off for like five to ten years. And then slowly bring it back. But Daniel's right. Now the new thing is opposite April Fool's. So when you do have a real announcement, you announce it in April Today's Fool's. Today's opposite day. To, yeah, make, oh to, to get people talking <laughs> whether it's real or not. I hate it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate it all. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> let's, all uh, let's try this one. Tom and Dan and Sam and Trav. Uh Hey guys, it's Kenny. Uh, I found something that Tom is definitely going to think is stupid and hate, um, and that is an investment thing called NFT, which are non-fungible tokens. Oh, um, basically, this became popular through uh, something called NBA Top Shot, and essentially... You- Joke's on you, sir. We're into it. Yeah. Full bore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm already mining as we <laughs> The angel's into it. He's oh, made some. I made some. I made one this morning. Yeah. I didn't even know what I made. We. Uh, but I know I can we, sell it for a billion dollars. I know that. We did a complete U-turn on crypto because mm-hmm. uh, I didn't- We put everything in crypto. Like <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. even know how to pay I, for anything. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got all these different ones. Like, I've, I've got, got a QR code. I don't know how it works. I've got like Ethereans. Yeah, yeah. And Ethereum, I've got Beers. Dodgy. And I've got Dodgy. i got a little bit of Dodgy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I got some Exos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Zazo. Oh, oh Zazo. Zazo. That's rocketing. Z- I don't know how to pronounce that one. It starts with an X. Ax- Axios. That's rocketing. Axios to yeah. the moon. Is Get in there. Get yeah. in there quick. The, what million me. dollars instantly. Hey, guys. It's Steve in Orlando. Uh, I was listening to ACT and uh, hearing about Tom's bum interaction and how they have Square now, so you can't say you don't have cash anymore. Um, which is interesting because I've never had that happen to me. But I've had this theory for a long time for panhandlers and that if panhandlers would just get a Venmo account. And- Can I pause for one second? I don't like the term panhandling because I feel like it would hurt the feelings of like someone like Mike B who actually handles pans. Oh, okay. Well, oh. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I think a cook yeah. or a chef or somebody who's back there, you know, with, the pans. with the all yeah. clad, banging it together, yeah. bringing me a good meal. Those are panhandlers. Yeah. With the person that's begging for money, they're yuck. <laughs> yeah. There's a big difference. Yeah, they have no pans. Yeah, they, yeah. they have hands. Yeah, they sold their pans for drugs. Yeah, 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 they're yeah. drug handlers is what they should be called. Uh, they're uh, mentally ill. Drug uh, handlers. Addicts. <laughs> yes, that's good. Well, oh, that's good. I like that. Uh, Hold on. Write the Venmo on their stupid cardboard sign that would make way more money. People don't want to interact, but they want to give people money for charity to make themselves feel good. I've even thought about creating a Venmo for panhandlers and like charging them 10% because they don't have a bank account and I can just distribute the monies accordingly. Sir, are, are you trying to know, it's like hoarding make toilet the, paper make, make the business of panhandling uh, more efficient for them? The, no, he wants to take a cut. I yeah. mean, it all came down well, to his ten percent of holding their yeah. and panhandling I'll, fees. Also, there's an inherent problem with all this, uh, being that if you were had it together enough to have a smartphone to pay that bill, have to get a Venmo, to get a Venmo account, link to, to an email account, yeah, link to an email account to uh, to uh, your PayPal or your bank account or whatever. If you had all, th- I can't even do that. <laughs> I, I, can't work I can our barely Venmo. do that. Yeah. Uh, like, I try. I, you know, like barely to pay sure. Pedro for the yeah. Land Cruise logo using <laughs> yeah, yeah, Venmo. Yeah, yeah. I had to call Butler and get five different Venmos, and then yeah. I, you know what I did? I just paid it out of my own pocket because I'm like, right. I can't do this. I almost uh, divorced my wife last night oh because my God. I got oh, hey so now. mad because That's my like phone third time this week my phone stopped it didn't stop working but you now you keep saying that you said that last week and it's I almost had to help like you. he loves his phone he'll be it, like it didn't stop he'll go like my phone stopped working I mean it did stop working is your phone hitting you what, what, and making you like take up at, for it at the like I I, <laughs> I click on my email it shows nothing uh-huh. uh, but uh, but little dots and all they're oh, bl- yeah. they're well, all blank <laughs> who knows and then I, and then I click on the mail it's there and then uh, anyway so Crystal's just like it's your fault you're ruining your phone because you can't uh, do basic 
phone maintenance that the rest of the world can do and you can't do it uh, and we'll just you have to do it the, I'm like I don't want to do it I can't and then I just want to get the most expensive phone with the uh, the biggest storage well, what phone maintenance have you not been doing well like I don't have like she claims that because I have 6600 unread uh, oh wow uh, emails well I told you this before you gotta you gotta uh, yeah, uh, see, de- you gotta delete some stuff yeah see when I go to my That's emails literally ju- what I told him last well, week well because your, your phone is now looking Looking for That's 60, what she's yeah. thousand emails or whatever, and then yeah. I got two hundred and fifty-five yeah, messages and two hundred and eighty-three unread uh, text messages. We tell you to reply in our group chat, and if you did, your phone would work. <laughs> yeah. Maybe so, you just put a couple. <laughs> all, just oh, a couple you're just of like the her, aren't you? Just you? Put a couple, <laughs> and, 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 oh, are you calling me Crow Junior? That's fine. <laughs> you're worth crow. I got the nose. I'll be the crow. So I got so irritated <laughs> got because nose, and she's be like, crow. just do <laughs> general maintenance. Every, I got like I can't. I'm like I can't. You can't. Man, you just don't. Uh, no, no, I can't. You I, don't know how to go. I'm disabled. Yeah, hate crime, hate crime. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hate criming me? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you over there, hate criming me. Uh, I'm just saying, I have no ability to do this because, uh, for whatever reason, it's a disability. And then you don't know how to delete emails. Some of them I need for later, and then I'm like, I'll hold this one. Anyway, and what then I get the unread too, ones? and then once it gets too far gone, I'm like I can't. Ever <laughs> he pushes it out to sea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you <laughs> just don't want to. I can't. Once it gets too far gone, and the, the boat's on yeah, fire. Time. He pushes yeah, it yeah. out to sea, and he I, lets it burn. Like there's other things that I deem more important, so I do those things first, and I run out of time. And I'm like, I'll do it and tomorrow. And then you run out of space on your phone, and then yeah. you can't do anything yeah. on your no, phone. No, that this is a you have to make so time. This is a problem. Is it the email? Because I'll look at mine. I'm going to email now. I do to my credit. I have seven hundred and. 35 unread emails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you have there? What's your number there? 6,600. Um, yeah, that's yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's, I mean, it's, that's me times, like, that's like yeah. nine extra it's years. 6,603, and it'll uh, go yeah. up and do you down. Do you ever do updates on your phone or anything? No, nah, I forget, like, uh, you know, they back up, and I, there's a... You know, it's, and then Crystal's like, I, I, she's like, it's gonna be miserable when you're an old man. You can't do oh, nothing. Yeah. You can't do it now. And like, you can't turn on the TV. And then I'm like, I can turn on the TV. I'm not gonna get that dumb uh, of oh, an old man. But that should be the goal, right? <laughs> I mean, I think the goal I'm should like, be so dumb you can't turn the TV on. You know, going through all my emails and deleting the ones that I don't need and saving the ones that I do need. Well, for like if later, you read it, so you. So the problem is, let's let's boil it into one email. How you, many apps do you have on your you, phone? You have an email from me. It says, hey, this is the idea I was thinking of. You, you're you not going to reply to it, so just hit the trash button. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why well, do you need my email? I don't need it, but I just, who cares if it's back in the queue or it's trash? I guess the phone cares, and yeah. that's why it's well. But well, I, what I'm well, saying. it doesn't really care, but it won't function. <laughs> you're yeah. Just, yeah. I'd like to, you're talking get, a lot like feeling. me. Well, can I get a stronger, like, it's like if, you, if you're morbidly obese, you just get a bigger motorcycle. He's, I mean, he's making sense. <laughs> you're, they, 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 the society yeah. will yell the at you. The like, King mattress. Yeah, I know where you're they're going. They're just like, lose weight. And you're like, I can't. I have a problem. Just give me a yeah. bigger engine. Yeah. That's what I, I need. I can't walk around Disney. <laughs> Don't. Here is a little motorcycle you can ride around while everybody else is walking. <laughs> That's what I Are need. Are you handicapped? No, but my fat makes me <laughs> extremely handicapped, much like a handicapped person. Yes, well, here, I, I, have yeah. a little motorcycle to ride around on. So my lack of organizational skills, my procrastination, all that is like being morbidly obese. Well, type in best phone. <laughs> For old men, <laughs> uh, multiple emails or bet like what? Maybe yeah, yeah, they yeah. make. Well, maybe we should get I'm them just, an old next town or something. Best phone for seniors. Oh no! no now, I you're, now you're taking no. shots. Now you're taking shots. Can I just throw money at it to make it work? Yeah, that's okay. That's Absolutely, all I want. you can. Uh, that's you all. You have to have Butler go through and delete all your emails. <laughs> <that> you're <not laughs> read, but then there you're well, running the risk of there's some important stuff in there. The Raz nah. memory cell phone. That's what you need. The Raz memory. <laughs> no. How big on. are the buttons? <laughs> does it come with a uh, Does it come with a tether to his uh, uh, <laughs> pocket so he won't lose it? Won't oh, fall man. out <laughs> while he's at the rated number one for Alzheimer patients. Yeah, that's no, it. Come that's on. it. Can it hold a million emails? <laughs> yeah, will it hold a million emails and rock them all? <laughs> <laughs>
let's check this out. All right. No, oh, Sam looks just, like this might be what you need. The rat. What is it? No, it, that's, the Raz memory cell phone is a simple cell phone for individuals with Alzheimer's. Boom. Other forms of dementia and intellectual disabilities. There you go. <laughs> You're in the ad. The phone allows people with disabilities to stay connected with friends and family. The single touch dial picture phone pri- prioritizes oh, simplicity. Is that Brian Zimmer? I'll hit the mash the button. Hello, Brian. It's me, Tom. This single oh. touch picture phone Hold on, prioritizes I see a picture simplicity. Of a, see a picture of a smoked turkey. That must be Steve calling in. Hold on. It includes only one screen. The single screen includes three elements, photos and names of up to six contacts. Oh, I see a dildo. That's Deborah from Fair Villa. Hello, Deborah. This a is Tom speaking. Dedicated button to contact 911. Alternative. I don't need that one. Yeah, Razzle. take that off. <laughs> you save some money. Take that off. The yeah, time, no. remaining battery power, and signal strength. Look at this thing. I think this is where we go. Can I get emails? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, but one big email. <laughs> <laughs> it, just just one. <laughs> it just says, I love you, Grandpa. On it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The picture uh, phone does it. not exit the home screen. This prevents users from getting confused in the normal yes, smartphone hold on. environment. That's <laughs> worthwhile. So it only has one screen, no multiple screens. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Even the power button can be, be disabled by the caregiver. Oh, so you can leave it on. Yeah. Just let that thing roll. Uh, uh, we open, baby. <laughs> We're on. <laughs> uh, oh, oh so, yeah. So they never uh, turn it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, this is great. It's like my pop up when I got him. Uh, oh, how mad he was when I got him the damn uh, life, life alert. alert. Oh, yeah. God. Well, you were you you. Yeah, that's a that was the most disrespectful thing. He didn't like me yeah. after that. <laughs> he did. He really he did. respected me he less. He started thinking you were uh, out to get him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Stealing from him, <laughs> taking his guns and stuff. Uh, I did have to yeah, load. Caught him reaching in the Marlin, trying to get a revolver out of him. <laughs> I had to unload his uh, front door gun just yeah, because I didn't want to know. be shot in the chest. Yeah, <laughs> you're they're bringing in some root beer, and you get your fingers blown off. <laughs> and then I started, I started doing that move where you know the detective. Hey! Oh, no, I knocked, but I'm standing against <laughs> yeah, the wall. Yeah, so in case I, they I, do the, <laughs> in case they do the shotgun blast through the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah the, the, in the last the couple months, I was like. You know, I don't know. You know what an odd move? Every time I approach my wife's car, I touch the back of it like a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> just, in case she, just in case she murders me <laughs> as I approach the door. Oh, oh my God. Let's do, you uh, want to do one more? Let's do another voice. All one. right. Um, it's funny, too, because the ACT ones I've been flagging, every single one is that a curse word in it, just about. I'm not <laughs> we going, leave some uh, without curse words. Well, no, I, I only listen to a bit of it because I want to be surprised, too. Oh, I don't yeah, want to, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, I want to play. Daniel, do you have any audio of your old bands you were in, the, specifically the ones you were a singer in? Uh, could you share that with us, please? Thank you. Love you. I think I did, like, in 2019, I brought in uh, when uh, some tapes. I brought in the tapes of me when I was, like, a DJ and then my old band. I think we played a couple of songs. If you email me, I can link you back to it. Um, here's my old band, Tweed. Why would he want to hear that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, no, know. Just, you know, who, no, I don't know. Who's like, I want to hear your high school, uh, gr- like you know, garage band. Maybe he just likes his his voice. No so idea. He wants to hear some of his old music. That's, I mean, that's a weird thing. Though. It, it <laughs> is a little weird. Yeah, it. it's weird to be liked. It's uh, <laughs> well, this is like an old like I want to hear your high school garage band. It's weird tweed. to have pe- <laughs> It's weird to have people like actually enjoy you on the program, not just <laughs> listen to find out how much better they are. <laughs> What's up, guys? Listen to the show where uh, Jenna Hurt called in talking about left to right, which way's right. Dan, you're right. Uh, because it's not looking at the house it's the way that you're actually rapping so the way that tom and jenna were describing it you're actually rapping right to left when you go to the back side of the house take it easy what okay (laughs) no money (laughs) (laughs) we were talking about wrapping a house in cellophane do you remember that yeah yeah (laughs) and we were talking about which way you you get to the back of the house are you st- yeah you but you're still going right to left it was my point you i think you and jenna were arguing that when you're in the back of the house you're now rapping to the left which is incorrect B- it's always the, the right because you started on the right yeah, it's always the way you're going like, right it's, it's got to be clockwise or counterclockwise right, right? And right. that's it and then it's easy now I, I, I think so i'm always confused like if you're saying the right of your house is it the right of your house as if you were sta- like stage right 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. I've been confused with that too. What is stage right and stage left? Is that from where you're standing it's, on stage, it, it's, or it's, from the it's audience on stage looking out? I always thought. So, so stage, stage right is as the actors looking out. Yeah. Yeah. So your house facing the audience would be the same way. If you said the left of my house, it would be if you were standing in, in your front door looking out to your the oh. front of your street. So the the left of your house would be actually if you were standing on the road looking at the house, the right of the house. Correct. Sounds like, okay. Yes. Yeah. That's the standard, right? That's I, a universal I, I, agreed I upon. R- I think that's right, but people will debate that. Is my point? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, because it's confusing because if you say the right of my house and I'm walking up to your house, I'm thinking to my right, right? Right. Not to the... Everything uh, you're saying for some weird reason is making sense and I don't want to shake it. I think we linked our brains finally. <clears throat> um, <laughs> there, there has to be some universal understanding and at least in the construction and that kind of business, right? right? So there's no I'm mistakes. I'm sure it's easy there, yeah. I'm sure those guys always know. It's like the doctor that writes uh, the X on, IX on <laughs> yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. They still do that, by the way. Oh, for yeah, everything. Of course. But, for yeah, even yeah. like simple things. Like really, really weird things. I'm like, you don't have to do that. But yeah, I think it's standard protocol. Yeah. I, I, they have to. I, insurance companies. Insurance, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, people amputate the wrong. I'm like, my God. I was like, when I was getting my gallbladder out, the amount of times I had to sign off. Like, I'm like, I'm like, you're sedating me. And I'm just, I'm like, eh, you know, I'm like all over the place. Try this one because this is an update, Tom. I don't know if you even have this. Hey, Tom and Dan, Sam and Travis. Uh, This is Randy. I was just listening to an old episode from November of 2020, and it's episode 596. But Tom was talking about homeless Harry Potts, and seeing as how that's about six months ago, I was wondering if we could get an update on homeless Harry Potts, and if the guy flipped the house for as much as he put into it anyway have a good one bye i love your well, voice randy you the, could do character work easily the, sir. L- the last time i wrote a letter to harry uh he was doing well he's out um i think somewhere in maine sir do you think i have any goddamn clue what this I homeless he was guy your friend no he's not my friend he you was talked to him all the time he talked to me and <laughs> he was uh he's gone out of my neighborhood so is now. it also like your relationship with butler <laughs> he just talks to you yes uh and now the house is still for sale i think they way dro- overpriced they dropped the price again but the way things are going it seems like the market and the sale price is going to probably maybe meet uh, oh. higher than 500 uh, just because the market's insane right now. Dear Harry Potts, it's day 16 without seeing you outside, watering your plants and smoking Salem Ultralights. I don't know if I'll ever see you again, but hopefully this letter finds you well. The boys are doing great. I had some Easter eggs outside, and the raccoons ate the chocolate. They got the trots and pooped up the garden. Pumpkins will be a little sour this year. Regards, always your love, Thomas. I feel bad for the realtor that's trying to sell this house because she does an open house every weekend, and oh, every time I see her car parked there with the open house item, you should drop by and uh, <laughs> yeah. eat all. Well, of I her, did one time. And eat all of her Hovon rolls. I, Remember Hovon rolls? I don't know what that is. There's those little sliced sandwiches you used to get in the food court. They these Greek people would make a, a like a wrap, and then they wrap it super tight in cellophane, and then they use an ultra sharp knife to slice it into these little. They're basically the pinwheels that Tom eats, but they were called Hovon rolls. So she does this open house and I'm like, why? You're wasting your time and you know it and everybody, you're probably doing it for the client because they're like, it's not selling open house. And, and just they demand it. And yeah. Nobody's going like, uh, you get out there, shake the trees. <laughs> you think someone just drive by and be like, oh, open house. Oh, look, I'm going to buy this uh, uh, 550. I'm going to do that. Just to keep them on the hook. <laughs> I'm going to go by there. I'm going to dress like a <laughs> mayor of a Southern bank. It's uh Man, everybody's moving to Florida. Uh, I, I just heard something on the... Uh, God, I'm not going to be able to get out of my house because I won't be able to find another house. You, you, do, well, in a certain price range you can, but... I'm uh, looking about 3.6 to 4.2 That mil. You can find a house. You can find a house. <laughs> it's the, the price range between... 250, 250 doesn't exist anymore, 
but 300 to 500 uh good Whoa. luck it's uh it's crazy well, closer to where i would be actually i'll just keep what i have and Thank but you. they're uh, Bye -bye. it's uh it's the uh, everybody is moving to florida people are uh you know basically upgrading their house instead of moving because they realize that their house is worth so much and other houses are so expensive and it's like so it's creating this weirdo market where there's uh, barely any houses for sale and uh and the ones that are go immediately for way over asking price and there's multi bids and stuff like that it's uh yeah, it's Ghost nuts. says, uh, we were looking for a 3-2 around 260, and we barely beat out other bidders for hours. It was on the market for three days, and we were one of eight offers. Oh, yeah. you're lucky. It's a faster, yeah, it goes eked. faster now. Yeah, you yeah. eked in. Um, and uh, so this actually, this house at the corner uh, of my uh, neighborhood may actually get higher than I thought. I thought there's no way it's going to go over 500 grand. I'm like, Let's 500 grand. Well, I, it doesn't matter to me either. I, well, I guess it helps my home value. Sure. But uh, I don't know. It seems crazy that a house is a half a million dollars in Castleberry. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You, I, I mean, think about what you. I used to think the price. You remember my old house that was nine ninety, the little house on Asbury. Like, yeah. I remember when I bought that house, the price of it. I was just like, that's insane. Like this house is like. 50 years old you know right. an old ass house and the nice neighborhood though or, it was a nice I, neighborhood it still is you know it's but the just in my mind and this is an old man thing but a half a million dollar house i right thought now. was a mansion no, uh that you uh, that you would only dream about living in you know what i'm saying like you I can thought, just file this under like kids don't get driver's licenses anymore it's <laughs> yeah, like everything yeah, is yeah. changing you know I, it's like I didn't crazy out of control fast I, I didn't think it'd be some you know four two in castleberry you know. know what i'm saying like, it's, no, like I, no i'm with it's you not nothing I, like nothing special it's like all right the half when a i turn 18 the years hell? of age if you had said a 500 hundred dollar house when i was turned what is uh, uh, officially a man right i would think mansion do you and what, i always have what is that that first house you bought in deltona cost you Eighty nine thousand dollars. Yeah, eighty nine thousand dollars. It was a twelve sixty with the massive porch that I put on the it back. It was brand from. new, right? It was brand new construction, and then I had um, eighty nine thousand. Uh, I had a uh, uh, what's his name? I, my brain's not working today. Edson Ez. Edson Ez aluminum yeah. come in and put a ginormous party patty on the back. of It is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Put the slab and everything and like enclosed it. You had more space than I had more space in that house than I've ever had. But it's eighty nine thousand dollars, four hundred dollars a month. I guess they we're doing what every old man does to start talking about how things. Used I used to, to be listen cheaper. to my mom and dad talk about and the first house. I remember when gas was under a dollar. Yeah, my yeah, mom and dad. Like, that's how it works, old man. Things yeah. get more expensive. You know what blows <laughs> like, my you mind, dumb old man? You know what blows my mind is I've never had a house fire. I've never of, been in, and my mom and dad, people. my like mo most people don't, right? my mom and dad, they, you know, I never got a chance to really talk to them about it, but they had a house fire. I had a, one of the ones you get to run out and stand while they're putting it out. Oh, really? God. Yeah. And their first house that they bought. I feel like I wish they were here and I could ask them about it, but they're dead. In the 70s and 80s, they were playing it loose with the fire uh, prevention. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of yeah. oil and indoor yeah, cooking. Oh yeah. and we the, had a lot of oil lamps, even when I remember yeah, yeah. as a kid. A lot we of had heaters. One. Yeah. There was less safety, you know, less lawsuits. We used to so. put candles on our Christmas tree. I'm kidding. We didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the, the burning down of houses was, uh, I think, a lot more. Uh, you know, frequent. plus a lot of old school houses had bad elect like uh wiring, wiring yeah, yeah. yeah, and all like a newspaper on the walls and like it's bad. People didn't clean out their dryer. <laughs> that was like my. I, I still didn't know you were supposed to do yeah. that. It's dangerous. The lint dryer thing. Yeah. I mean, you know what I heard? Uh, I heard some podcast sometime like uh, about just how things don't make any sense anymore, and like the old, you know, like in the '90s and '80s, and like in the '70s, this was a thing where every cop that you jumped in a car. And uh, and you tried to start it. It was like in horror movies and stuff. And then it always took a long time. Yeah. It was like, D -d 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 -d. like, D -d 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 -d. Yeah. you know, and, and then that was a part of movies because it, you know, it was the car had a carburetor and, you know, things like that happened. The car was older. Now you could never do that because people would be like, <laughs> when you drive the grip truck, you can. <laughs> Let me tell you. you It'll are, happen. I'm saying in movies because people wouldn't. It's and it's terrifying like a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> the younger generation wouldn't understand not a car not starting when you turn the key. Half yeah. the kids don't drive. They don't know. They don't know how cars work. Yeah. They wouldn't relate to it. They'd be like, why is that? What yeah. the hell is wrong with that? Like, that's bizarre. I've never even experienced that in my entire life. Turning the key and the car doesn't start? Weird. Well, I had one yesterday. 
yesterday with Sam where like a new cars will shut off, you know, yes. they'll have that that I didn't automatic know fuel shut off. And and I sa- thought the car was stalling out. Yeah, this guy in this Mercedes behind us, we're walking over to Publix to get our sandwiches and he's just off on, off on, off on, off on. Sam's like, What the hell's wrong with this guy? And I'm like, Hey grandma, <laughs> this is a newer car. Yeah. So my wife's traverse has that. I and, hate it. And she constantly it's questions. She's like, Is this more fuel efficient? Right. It doesn't like it turns off every Does it take stop more sign. more fuel to start it back up? Well, it would well, be bad I, for the starter, I believe. Well, I said, obviously, engineers, uh, you know, there's millions of dollars of research and development in this, and the car manufacturers know better than we are dumbasses speculating, don't, like, don't it take more gas to start? <laughs> you know, right. Like, it's like the engineers know, of sometimes course. sometimes I think it's just a Band-Aid they do for, like, the EPA and stuff. You know, it's like, of course, we put the, uh, you know, the, the off, on, off, on. That's got to do something. And they're like, oh, all right, we'll take your word for it. Like, I don't know. Right. And it's the old, uh, I turn it off, though. Like, as soon as I get in my car, I crank it up, I get the fumes going, and I go, oh, <laughs> fumes stay on. Can you turn that feature Absolutely off? Absolutely you can. I don't. And think- I do it every time I get in my car, and I always have. I don't- in every car I've had that has it, I turn it off. Is that a like every standard you could turn it off? Is People it, in the chat are saying they turn theirs yeah. off, so okay. they disable yeah, it. Yeah, I, I disable Crystal mine. doesn't know that she'd like to disable that because it I bothers her. I will help her. your wife disable yeah. it. That sounds like the most boring <laughs> porno <laughs> a- ever. Is it just one Come button? Come to your house, help your wife disable her uh, on-off switch and it's for got, emissions. It's got to be saving you what a solo cup of gas. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? Like what? Uh, how I much? I don't even really? know. Yeah. Yeah. It's and then you're like, I've saved uh, fifty cents this month. I'm like, all right. Who, I, ca- I th- who the hell cares? It sounds awfully like close to something that like uh, Jason Conover or Penn and Teller might get a hold of and say, "Here's the reality of it." You know what I mean? Like, it sounds to me, not to have two of these in one day where I side with you, where I'm very much, like, it sounds like BS to me. Yeah. My wife's argument was, like, I'm never at a stop sign or a stoplight long enough to make it seem like it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can understand if I'm stuck in, like, afternoon traffic uh, and I'm sitting for minutes at a time before I move and then sit again. Like, that makes sense. Yeah, I think that's what it's mostly designed for, right? It just... Traffic like L A traffic, like heavy or, traffic. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Can you disable the seatbelt warning beep? There's two ways to do that. Yes, you can. You can get a. I believe it's called an OB11 if you're a, a VW or German car, and you plug that thing in. You can turn it off, or you can do what I do. You can just cut your wife's seatbelt out mm-hmm. and stick that in. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're Holy right. Holy smokes. Are you okay? Was it mean? No, no. <laughs> like, I was being mean. Too, mean. Too, no, too much. And then you just stick it in too there. Munch. <laughs> <laughs> too much. <laughs> Me too much. Me too much. He's hungry. It's lunch. <laughs> no, you hungry know, too I, much? I, I had too much Mountain Dew. When Tom, Tom gets, the, when Tom gets hungry, he turns into a cartoon character called Too Much. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. Too much hungry. Too much need. <laughs> Peanut butter pretzel. <laughs> the hot in here. <laughs> you get COVID. Because sure. <laughs> Butler turned the hair off. <laughs> He's in there doing a workout uh, he's in there with a hot pel- yoga <laughs> he's in there peloton <laughs> digital he's in there doing sit-ups um let's do uh we might as well do, take well, this thing okay. to the limit All so right. here um let's try this one hey sam tom dan butler it's chris streamer i was just calling because i was cracking up daniel i completely forgot about that toy with the bl- the straw and you blow the balloon and it's like chemically <laughs> awful <laughs> I completely forgot that that was a thing. So thank you for reminding me. Um, anyway, you guys are awesome. And uh, I've just been chilling and streaming at home. Out of work for four weeks. So anyway, you guys are helping me get through it. Love you. Bye. Do you know if she works at all? Remember she had uh, surgery, right? And she was on pain pills the last one. That's yeah. right. Um, Chris Rima, Prank Encounter Season 2 is out, just letting you I know. I can't get past that kid anymore, man. If you toot, it's fun. No, I hate the kid. I don't like the kid either, but... Is he in it a lot? Does he come out and I do the whole thing? St- like, I haven't started hey, Season 2, I'm but I'm sure kid. it's the same. Usually the hosts, though, matter very little, except when they get him involved in it. They do which, involve yeah, him at the end. Because he always comes in the end, and he's yeah. like, hey... I'm that kid, and you should be genuflecting and freaking yeah. out that I'm here. It should just be Tracy Morgan rambling through some cue cards. Yeah. <laughs> like he doesn't even know where he's at. This lady's going to think she's dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, f- like, a gang tape, yeah. like 30 of them. 
Uh, so yeah. he just has to come in one day of taping. No holds barred. And then you got the rest Take of the whole the season. Yeah. Lots of lawsuits. You get him for two and a half hours while you keep his interest. Uh, maybe you give yeah. him a Red Bull. And horrible things like, the dad thought the baby was dead. <laughs> yeah. you know, and there's, there's crying. A lot of yeah. 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 And then he rambles through. He doesn't need, the host needs to be out of it. I don't even like this show. It's just a formality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He doesn't even know why he's there. That's the original uh, scare tactics motto. And I just stick with that. The new, you get this kid from uh, the uh, Stranger Things, and you ha- you probably paid him too much, so you have to involve him in the damn skits. So don't do that. Yeah, because you have to justify him being there. Yes, right? And does yeah. he wear the dumb hat still? Yeah. Because yeah, I feel yeah. like he changed up his style, right? He cut his hair. Oh, he did. Yeah. So, so it's not the curly locks. Anymore? I mean, it's still curly, but just on the top. And, and he it's has short teeth now. But I, I, you know, it's like I. It's almost like once you've seen somebody who's yeah, hard, I always see him no obese, teeth. you'll always be obese to me, no matter how much weight you lose. I can't unsee it. Yeah, I can't yeah. unsee mm-hmm. it. So I'm always going to think of you as being that disgusting person you once were. <laughs> um, let's try this one. Uh. Tom and Dan Butler and Sam yeah. Jim from Lakeland here. Yeah. Uh, as it turns out, I'm very tender hearted when it comes to animals, and I come by it pretty honest. My mother, uh, uh, rather than throw any food scraps away, she always put them in the backyard so she could feed the local dogs and cats and birds and squirrels and rats and roaches and flies. So, uh, I got- <laughs> so you don't want to give this guy a segment with his nice voice and he comes well prepared and super well spoken. But you want to give all these other goons I'll you give have, segment- these dorks you come, no. like business baby, business bro, all these oh, ones we, we can't even them find them anymore. <laughs> We don't even know, but you won't give Jim a segment. I don't. Did Jim want a segment? I don't know, but I mean, I, I would imagine you should be beating down his door because this guy's got the goods, man. I, I didn't say he couldn't have a segment. I didn't know or wanted one. We'll continue. Come by a love of animals, pretty honestly, and so it it really hurts my heart uh, if I ever run over an animal. Uh, but my Ooh. path to and from work takes me through rural Polk County back roads, uh, sometimes early morning, late at night. So I've uh, so I've uh, piled up quite a number of kills on the way to and from work oh my God. Uh, so when 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 my time on the earth is over and i'm going to heaven i'll cross over the uh rainbow bridge and waiting for me will be my my own cats and dogs as well as a whole bunch of very angry possums and raccoons so i might show up at the pearly gates uh, pretty well scratched up uh so my question really is this um if i put deer whistles on my car is that a total old man move uh you guys you know one of your jobs is to judge people, so yes. to judge me, if you will. Yes. Uh, what is deer that? whistles on the car. Do they work? Don't they work? And what do you think if you see somebody with deer whistles on their car? So I love you guys very much. Take care, guys. I am pro deer whistle. I don't know what a deer whistle is. Uh, they used to sell them at Bass Pro Shops. I used to see them growing up. If you grew up in Deland, you'd know what deer whistles are, too. But a lot of the guys that hunted deer in Deland would have these little whistles in your car that as you're going, they would keep deer Kind of at bay. So if you're, you're trucking down the road, they make a, a they emit a noise that is distracting and not mm. not good for well, like, for, like a dog whistle, sort like of it scares yeah, guess, them away. Yeah, it kind of scares them away. And I remember seeing them. They would stick off like the lights or lower on your grill or something on the front of your car. I'm pro deer. I'm uh, I'm cool. I'm would cool it make them. the sound as you drove? Yeah, you like can't the hear wind it. would make yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah, you can't hear it now. I've seen some deer, you know, you've seen the videos of people with dash cams and they uh, they run into deer and those kind of things. And from what I've seen in reality, all the deer that I've always seen get hit, they rarely, you know, that's uh, quintessential, like the deer standing in the middle of the road and just looks and like, oh, like yeah, they're frozen. I've never like, seen that. It's always running across. It's and it, leaping. And it's trying to run across the road and then you clip it as it's yeah. jumping. You get right? its back legs. Yeah, yeah. and or it like, run- a, like a person on that show, Wipeout. So I feel like like if you're zooming by 50 miles an hour, even with a deer whistle, it's trying to run across the traffic and then if it heard the whistle, it wouldn't matter because it's Leaping across the right, tra- you know it's already I mean? in motion. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not like oh, the, like that would work if it was just standing there. It's like oh, I hear something, run away. But it's always yeah. they're always you know it's like it's like that. It squirrel. Seems like they're pretty ineffective. You know what happens to me yeah. every, every time is like kind of uh, like masks. The, oh, you. you guys I'm joking? I mean. How many times this happened to me this morning? Where a squirrel will run across yeah. in front of your car, mm-hmm. and you think you're like, man, I for sure hit it. But then you look in the rear view, and they what made do you it. do? Because it's a good judge of character. Do you hesitate? Do you put your foot on the brake? Do you power forward? What do you do? My do you give it a beat? my 
rationale is that the squirrel is so used to this that if I if I step on a brake or tap the brakes or whatever, I'm throwing off yes. way, like you know, like kind of like a wide receiver. It's so used he's to he's already in his route. Like he's in his route and he's so used to turn, pull your hands up like the the muscle memory. Yeah, don't mess with the route. So if you start you pump fake, he's gonna he's not gonna catch the ball, you're gonna throw him off his game. That's the correct answer. So do I, nothing. I do nothing mm-hmm. and then wow. figure that gives the squirrel it the best a, chance. It does. That's what happened. Sam, I saw it the other day. There was this guy. How many going, times have you hit a squirrel? I'm not sure. Sometimes oh. I don't even I think I for stop sure. every time. I've never hit an animal ever in my life. Oh my god. I hit a dog one time and I think I cut it in half. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I, never, I was going fast, fast. I've never hit a dog. I've hit armadillos and possum, a lot of possums. I hit a dog and it, you know what's the, the saddest part about this? The dog I hit, it had a novelty, like it had just been gifted to somebody. It had some huge bow on it. <laughs> yeah. it's ter- I'm, okay. Uh I I hit a bird one time. Oh. We got stuck in the grill of the truck. My dad hit a baby owl. I've told this story before, and it was on our windshield, and my he turned on the windshield wipers, and it. Oh. Birds are resilient. I, there's a video the I saw <laughs> of a like there was a guy. He hit a big bird, and big bird, what, <laughs> not big bird. Like it was some sort of heron was or he something. Driving on Sesame Street. <laughs> but uh, it was stuck in his grill. Like it went into the, yeah, the grill and the mesh of his F one fifty, and his legs are sticking out. Yeah. And this guy was <laughs> with one foot up on. He was yanking, like, yeah! yeah, and then pulling it out. Where it's like, oh my god, you're gonna pull this bird's legs off. And then he pulled it out, and it was like, yeah. And then it flew, it flew away. away. And then I was wow. like, oh my god, it lived. I've like, seen that. It, and, well, it only lived for about thirty five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, it may have just died in the woods, but it yeah. still flew away. Well, and I was like, it, no, hold wow. on. In internet land, Tough it lasts forever bird. because you'll make up your own narrative, yeah, yeah. right? But in reality, yeah, about 35 seconds, it had horrible yeah. contusions. And, and that's like the, the, the second worst thing that happened to that bird that week. <laughs> like birds uh, yeah. have horrible lives. They, if I were a bird and I'm going to go out, put me in the jet. Because that's got to be fast, effective. Oh, I'll never know it. It just squirts the feathers out. And I want to do some damage on my way out of here. You know what I mean? I'm br- I want to bring you down, at least for an emergency <laughs> landing. Oh, oh, yeah, I yeah, want to yeah, be that powerful. Hudson. Yeah, yeah. Because they will remember you. Like, I do all these shows. I've done thousands of podcasts. Nobody will remember S. But they'll remember that bird that killed 200 people because he put that plane down. I wonder if right? they, if you if there's been a bird that single-handedly can be responsible for the deaths of the most people. Like... For instance, maybe it's a carrier pigeon that never showed up at his place, and then like a whole battalion died. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow, bird like, history! <laughs> it's a new bit. Bird history. Bird Great. history no. Wednesday. Great I, history of birds. This is a good idea. I want to find the single bird. The raven that, didn't get there in time, and then they stormed the castle. Is yeah, that what you mean? Yeah, that or like a bird flew into a jet airliner, and the whole the whole all the passengers died. Or, or you know, like, or I bought a bird at a wet market, and everybody started the, losing. <laughs> They're smelling taste. Oh, yeah, that, the that original bird. Corona yeah, bird has that got to be he Hall of Fame. King bird, Elvis. <laughs> oh, yeah. Elvis Presley. Yeah, yeah. I bet you yeah, there's a lot of pandemics caused by <laughs> bird, uh, bird flu. That whole, there's got to be a patient zero bird. Uh, some some uh, Publix brown bird that caused the death of millions. So yeah. everybody's saying that uh, deer whistles no go. It seemed like the chat room. You guys are all like they're stupid. Yeah, it doesn't seem they're that effective. Yeah. Are they are, are they at all effective? Because I would argue if they're at all effective, then get them. Why not? There may, but the problem is, how many deer have you hit? Like right. one in the past ten and a half years. Like then I've never hit a deer. Yeah, then it's like the likelihood of you hitting another one. In What's the, the biggest animal you've hit? I hit a raccoon. No, I hit a dog. The dog was the biggest thing I hit. Mm. I never really hit any big, like, Squirrels, armadillo, possum. raccoon, and dog. That's it yeah, for yeah. me. I've Not never, very many. Maybe five times. Never hit dogs, cat. I, and I, I'm counting squirrels in that. Um, we saw a deer get hit in uh, Colorado uh, driving. Oh, um, yeah, you did. To, uh, oh, I did. Yeah, we passed it, too. They, uh, but, but we saw it run, and then it got hit. And But I think out there, and even in, like when my buddy lived in, uh, the wizard lived in Gainesville, we heard a deer get hit, and the guy just threw it in the back of his truck to eat it, you know, because uh, right. he's like, why you let it go to waste? So you that rather- guy was also a weird Al Yankin. <laughs> 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 oh, bye-bye. Welcome to A Corporate Time with Tom and Dan. I'm Tom. I am Dan. It's time for the nerd jockiness. Yep. Real quick, uh, our Tom and Dan Land Crews, they, Dr. Phillips actually opened up a couple more boxes um, because they had to hold some for internal use and they couldn't open them up till later or whatever. Sorry, so I can't use this box. Internal <laughs> use only, sir. There's uh, two or three maybe available. 
And uh, that's at the Dr. Phillips website. If you mm-hmm. want to buy tickets, Tom and Dan Landcruise.com. Thank you very much to just call Mo.com. Also, ABC Fine Wine and Spirits, Sports Subaru. <laughs> All of our great sponsors, <laughs> Blanchard, Bart Merrick, mm-hmm, At Home mm-hmm. Floor Store, Villain Clothing Company, Streamline Mortgage. Man, you're, man you must have had a, did you have Secure a Mountain roofing. Dew Rise? Mm. Because you're awfully peppy. So let's do it. Jack! Nerds! <laughs> Jack! Nerds! <laughs> Jack! Nerds! <laughs> Jock, nerd, jock, nerd. Nerd Jock with EJ. How you doing, EJ? Good. How you guys doing today? It was my daughter's birthday on Saturday. Ah. What'd you do? She just turned. She just turned five. We went to Fantasia Golf. So while you were uh, real golfing with Tuttle, I was uh, fake golfing with the uh, B Y M A M A. This goes out to all my baby mamas. <laughs> what is that? Fantasia. <laughs> Fantasia, yeah. Fantasia. yeah Fanta- what happened to her? Fantasia Barino from American Idol, ah. season two, I believe. So, what is where is that uh, putt putt course at? It, on the Disney property, it's over by the uh, Swan and Dolphin, I think. Oh, okay. It's closer to the Swan. Yeah, we did. Me and the wife did loads for loads, and of course I won. No, oh, okay. no. Did, did you collect? <laughs> did you talk no. about the loads for loads? Did you guys have a? Yes. Co- did she, and know, she tried to do double or nothing? Did she know she was again. playing? Yeah. Okay. Did we she, had talked about it on the ride over? Did you give her a handicap of shots? Hell no, no. She thinks she's just, just as good as me, which she's not because she's a woman. No. Oh. Well, that's what I was and <laughs> everybody else was thinking. But uh, I thought that she would realize, like, at least take a five-shot handicap or something. You know, my wife has realized, like, I gave her a ten-shot handicap one time. And you still won, right? Oh, Ooh. blew the doors off her. Uh, oh, I know what that means. <laughs> she don't realize. Oh, I couldn't give my wife. My wife is not bad. My wife's not bad. She usually, it's usually like a two-stroke difference. Like my son almost beat us this weekend, which is weird. He's he turns nine in May. That's real bad. If it, my sons will never beat me at any sport. Um, oh my yeah, god! The history of time. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yeah, waiting for the day. Right. I say they beat you at eight for sure. Because uh, no, you're way, diminished. no, eight. Way. They're weak, and uh, by by the time they're eight, I'll be full testosterone. Oh yeah, you'll be <laughs> and uh, I'll be <laughs> starting Stallone. You'll be starting a diaper tattoo, yeah. a Japanese diaper tattoo. I'll full gummy worm arm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for it. Yeah, they call those the Madonna penis arms. So what do we got today, EJ? <laughs> Uh, you know, what? let's start off with uh, jock stuff. All it's right. kind of jock and nerd at the same time, because uh, you heard that Aaron Rodgers is taking over guest hosting for Jeopardy this week and next week. Yeah, they're just like switching it out and trying a bunch of different. Yeah, people. they had Dr. Oz a couple weeks ago, oh, I think. God. And then people and freak everyone out because they hate him. And then like you're, yeah. you're not going to be able to pick anybody that anybody would like that everybody yeah. unless it's like Tom Hanks. And then you'd have a small Ooh, Tom Portion Hanks, of, not a bad idea. No, people would. Some people it's, think he is Pizza Gate. You know, they no. yeah. like eating babies well, and it, stuff. It's beneath Tom Hanks. Yeah, like uh, you know, that's uh, he would be good at it. Though. No, Chet Hanks. He, yeah. <laughs> he's Chet a Hanks hosting Jeopardy. I don't think he could read the questions. I thought the new host permanently was that Jenkins Ken, guy. Ken, Ken Jennings. 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 Ken Jennings. I. He's going in. Oh, no. <laughs> Stick to the plan. Uh, but yeah, uh, so he was on last night on Monday night. And the guy that was in second place couldn't catch the leader and basically trolled Aaron Rodgers and his final answer. Basically saying uh, his answer was who would take that kick? Because the Packers lost to the, the Buccaneers with a field goal. Ah, got and it. so he was trolling him on his final answer. Yeah, I, don't think I, cool. I don't think I would do that. So do you think um, Aaron Rodgers gets the list of questions and practices before? Yes. Or do you think he For just, sure. You yeah, because okay. he's a quarterback, and that's what they do, yeah. right? They prepare, read lists okay. and prepare. I, mean, I feel like anybody would do that so they don't embarrass yeah. themselves on TV. Well, you well Alex live. Trebek used to do it, too. Still, yeah, Alex a- Trebek used to read the questions ahead of time, especially if it had, like, foreign languages, and he always would, like, roll the R's with Spanish yeah. and all that stuff. He used to really take pride in doing that, There's too. only one man that would go into uh, go into that and not read the questions, and that's me. Because <laughs> <laughs> I like <laughs> doing that. Yeah. I enjoy going I, in and sight-reading things. I enjoy it. I always have. 
Tom hates it. That's my worst nightmare. And when we would do, oh, yeah. when we would host things together, I would just want to get drunk beforehand, and he would yeah. want to just prepare beforehand, and we'd mix them together. Yeah. Where I would just so it was get, always bad. Yeah, it was always bad. Because <laughs> I would just, I would drunkenly a prepare. Chaos. I would drunkenly yeah. prepare for it, and then yeah. he would. I would get drunk too. I wouldn't be like, no, alcohol. For, I would say, yeah, I cannot get drunk. Right, um, and I can't not prepare because if you're the only one preparing, yeah. then I'm just the drunk. Yeah, yeah. Well, you want me to have a seizure on live TV? Yeah. Do you want me to, <laughs> yes. want me to see my handshake? <laughs> I can't uh, not drink. Anyway, uh, next story, EJ. Okay, next story. Uh, uh, Sam, did you ever get that uh, thing I sent you for the Uh-oh. Arizona Christian uh, <laughs> oh. kicker? Yes, I sent it to Dan. Yeah, I got it. Have okay. It. Have, uh, have you seen this guy? Uh, right now, uh, like Arizona Christian is a uh, university, of course, in Arizona. And yeah, that's the guy. He's their kicker. Oh. And he just uh, oh. a <laughs> big chunk. Yeah, he is, yes. Uh, he got a lot of foot. Po- uh, got a lot of leg power. Is this? Uh, if I play this, is this the kick or is this just a still photo? I think it, it's kind of a still photo, but I think sh- this is what you can see him up close. But the <laughs> Why the long this? version <laughs> is you see him actually kick the ball. He makes it like a yeah, yeah. Cool. look at him go. Get a better uh, angle in the video. I yeah. also like that none of them have the names on the back of their jersey, just a cross. So That's everybody cheaper. is God. <laughs> Everybody's God. So is I wonder if we talk to a professional kicker, does his weight advantage do anything for the kicking? Mm, could. I think it could, yeah. Like, because... I think it could. If it could, though... I would assume that there would be other big chungus kickers if it gave you any advantage. Now, the problem is during kickoff, you couldn't cover the return very well because you're too big and slow. But maybe, yeah. but you could have another kicker do the kickoff, but then that takes a roster spot. So maybe there's no advantage to being big. Now, if you were able to hit like consistent 60 yarders, maybe, but I feel like that's all leg and technique, like your weight plays very little into it at that point right you know i I honestly don't know i think there would be i always thought i was always led to believe that your better kickers would be have a uh be a medium height oh it's like a tall yeah yeah. like an average height rather not like my husband would make a good kicker like not like me i'm too small and not like you know uh, yeah, like our buddy uh, uh six you know, ten do, uh, yeah, yeah. bike packing coolers right. that guy's six eight now i punters i believe the taller you are you can get better height and range being a lanky big punter like a big human but for kickers you're right most kickers are average height you know, what I'm it's saying? kind of the way I think about, with or golf. even shorter. Like I think golf. Like I think you'd be a better golfer, and I don't know this to be true. I just have always assumed that if you were taller and you could whip your arms around more, and you could use the full length of your body in that pivot, that like that rotation, that you would be able to generate more power than a shorter person would, just yeah, yeah, based yeah. on physics. Yeah, that's, that's just based on the length of your appendages. That's all I'm going on. You would think, too, that would work with kickers Swimming. just having longer Michael legs. Michael Phelps has long legs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's lean. So it's just, sorry, you're not going to be able to beat the guy because the length of his legs generates more power. Well, every stroke that Michael Phelps yes. does, a guy that's 5'1 has to do double the work, well, right? when I cycle against my wife and we're climbing, she has longer legs. I mean, get more she gets push more per, power. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how much you looked into this, EJ, but is there any advantage to being a big, fat chungus? kicker <laughs> probably not no i just think that maybe maybe it's like chuck daly with golf because remember he used to smash the ball in golf because he was a bigger guy you mean john daly just... chuck daly was the coach of the detroit pistons you <laughs> oh fool. yeah you're right if i'm getting the sports <laughs> questions right then we need to fire some people uh, around here also all that th- got thrown out the window when tiger woods is ripped and hitting away for there you know what i'm saying yeah, like, like i'm big true. and fat so that helps me like <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. no no Tiger Woods yeah. is uh, ripped, and he's Sumo. hitting it further than you, you big fat Sumo. Huh? Sumo. What do you mean? It works in sumo. Show oh, me well, a yes, skinny yeah. sumo man. Well, also linemen. Like, there's certain positions that it helps you to be bigger. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, there, there may be some sort of physics behind having a, a bigger leg, but... Yeah, this is a novelty. Everybody's like, look at him. <laughs> he kicked it. He made it. Like, <laughs> so did I, every other college kicker. Like, it's not like he kicked an amazingly long field goal there. But it's no, like, it okay, like here's the part that's weird. What do you think he thinks about it? Because he's in high school, correct? 
No, he's in college. That's okay, college. college. Good. I feel better talking yeah. about this. So are they happy that he kicked it? Are they happy because he's big and was able to do something that we think big people shouldn't be able to do? Well, I think the unless this is a scenario where this is the coach's son or this is some sort of like um, to make a wish thing, he he uh, <laughs> no, tried say, out no, for the team and he's saying they're he, cheering. Yeah, but how much of the cheering is because uh, how much of it is oh. like oh I didn't know you could do it like oh Whoa. yeah ninety ninety four percent oh yeah ninety <laughs> four and the rest 94. are cheering because they didn't see how fat he was. I love that you give me I love that you give me accurate answers yeah. with percentages. I mean, you, you, oh my like, god, that's funny. You know, you're you're generally <laughs> cheering because your team scored a field goal, but most you're cheering above and beyond no, because I, they're I, big I'm chungus. even saying us. Like when I look at that picture, I'm not cheering. Because because, oh, look, it's college kids having a college yeah. football dust-up. I'm I'm looking, looking at it because I'm like, whoa! Yeah, Big Chunk has kicked a field goal. <laughs> right. Up. That's my point. Yes. Okay. That's the reason why I brought the story. Okay, because that's what I thought. Kicker, there's no way I'm bringing that up. So to go back to my original question. He's and only five foot five. This is where it gets mean. Well, that's the direction I was heading unless I got my Peloton bike. What, what, <laughs> what does he weigh? 285. <laughs> Ooh, 5'5", oh. five, five, 285. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's At one time, I was 5'2", 189. <laughs> uh, oh, he's a little chungus. So, um, <laughs> I was chunging along. And you guys said nothing. I have a picture of my phone that i will hand tom and he'll look at it and you guys said nothing to me if i was this guy i'd try to see how fat i could get because because honestly <laughs> it's more of a no- better novelty well just to be the fattest kicker ever because i bet you he can get to 300 and still Easily. and still kick fine because no. it's just yo yeah because it, it there's only 11 more pounds i mean it would just be in his gut and stuff like he could still have the same kicking motion it wouldn't hinder yeah, him as long as he still has the same technique he probably could still make the field goals yeah and, and then he can maybe be the only 300 pound college uh this kicker goes back to of what all I was time originally saying is this a good thing yeah well just it's so just you a can, novelty thing you well, can make he the was named the book. SAC Special Teams Player of the Week four times, and he has not missed an extra point in his two years on the collegiate level. Well, there he's you good. Go. I mean, he's good. Yeah. He's, good. Yeah. he's a good kicker, yeah. Then, then he backs it up. I, EJ, you don't know, does he do any coverage, uh, like kickoff coverage? Oh, he covers. If he does, mostly uh, <laughs> kickers are the, the, the safety guy. Like They just stay in the back to make sure and try to force them out of bounds if they return it on them. Yeah, but yeah, – I feel like this guy, like some kickers, they're super athletic and you they can said at least nothing to me. They can at least <laughs> <laughs> trip you up. I was just as fat as you. Look back at that there, big right? fat chunk. Yeah, yeah. Look how fat I am. I was, uh, you know, was that I, naked I was, at the top of the stairs? No, this is a, this is like a picture for my medical marijuana uh, recommendation <laughs> card. They're gonna like, yeah, this guy's gonna eat all the marijuana. Like, look how big. Yeah, yeah. It, and it, I'm shiny, red hot fat. It it looks like your heavier set biker brother. I do. I do. I look like I. Oh, you. Oh, you're one of the stand-ins for. Uh, you know, Mayans go stand by the bar. I'm just saying this guy should try to see how heavy he can get, just so he could be the fattest kicker of all time. Mm-hmm. Because you're not going to make the NFL. Like, uh, yeah, I don't think. No matter. <laughs> The and chat le- room is just slaying me. <laughs> okay, we got this joke came in. Can kick a field goal, can't wipe his butt. So we got that. <laughs> then we got flexibility is key with kickers. Uh, think this guy is. That's a good question. That's well, from Jay Cornell. Well, you like, can be big and flexible. Yeah, you can be big yeah. and flexible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, it's just the... So, I, that's the type of adult videos I like. It's just a matter of like if any recruit you probably can't tie his shoes though. It, it, sure, he can. You to be that big, you'd have to be some insanely more accurate and powerful kicker for them to take the disadvantage of someone easily being able to outrun you or juke you during kickoff return coverage. Uh, now, most kickers they can easily be juked anyway, but right. but some of them are athletic enough. To push the guy to balance or, or or at least trip the guy up, um, and a lot of kickers save touchdowns mm-hmm. that way. You know, there's the highlight yes, re- highlight reels of tons. I mean, remember, there's there's some punters that are actually physical. I think more than kickers because I think they tell kickers like, "Don't hurt yourself because you're the only kicker on the team and we'll be screwed." You know? Yeah. Uh, but punters sometimes, like Dolphins had a punter one year that would actually like. Tr- like legitimately tackle people and then the crowd would go crazy and then you know everybody would hype everybody up because because yeah. the, the, your team was so bad that's all you were playing for <laughs> to watch the punter plus, do something great we're like we're yeah. so bad root for the punter it, it was just plus a novelty it cuts into his paycheck because uh it destroys his net punt because every time it's a long return his net punt looks like crap 
Yeah, but I, I think it's more of a like uh, a status, a team morale thing when your punter like lays someone out yeah. or hits someone it hard is. because you're like, oh, that's yeah. supposed yeah. to be the girl of the team. Yeah, look, everybody's <laughs> giving 100%, even the P word over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, P word, but you know the deal. You know the deal. <laughs> yeah, you still bully over there. <laughs> yeah, you do. You knock yeah. him down a peg, but he understands it because he opted in. It's like a firefighter knows there's going to be a fire. EJ, when you were playing uh, UM, they bullied the kickers, right? Actually, no. Todd Sievers was our kicker when most of the time when I was there. Andy Crossland was when I was a freshman. But the three years, my sophomore, junior, and senior year, Ted Sievers was a kicker. And he used to make tackles all the time. Like, he gave himself a concussion once because he tackled the guy. You dyed your balance. beard. What are you doing? Are you the mayor of Tombstone <laughs> now? What's happening? <laughs> yeah. why, why did you oh, dye your beard? I zoomed in and I'm like, yeah. oh, my God. is that the, That's the mayor of Tombstone has come. <laughs> and he's not going to take it anymore. Yeah. And if the va- if uh, little Danny Diddy yeah. and uh, and the Van Brothers ride into town, you're yeah. uh, you're putting us in a pine box. But it's, yep. the, it's the pizza, not the old West. <laughs> 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 yes, I am tying my beard because if not, it'd be mostly gray. Oh, well, you missed the spot up to the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks it's, like it's, it's, edges, it's like too black. Yeah, yeah. It looks like your a hair is some sort of green screen. <laughs> 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 it's, it's digitally too. Yeah, it's like you darken it and then you. It's, sh- you yeah, it's, it's like not you, natural. It's like why would anybody dye their double chin black and then shoot from it upwards <laughs> up their nostrils? <laughs> <laughs> my God. All right, Ugh. next story, EJ. I, right, I, I feel like I'm a about... camera mounted on that kicker CPAP machine. <laughs> <laughs> should we talk about uh, FIFA or should we talk about the Final Four? Well, both are good in my book. The yeah, Final no. Four. Yeah, they're both good. W- Final Four broke my heart. Oh, okay. were you cheering for UCLA? No, no, I wanted uh, I wanted the Zags. Gonzaga, well, I'll talk about that. That was last night, but uh, Gonzaga to get to the finals. Yes. Had, had that heartbreaker against UCLA. My favorite, there's an Instagram of a lady at a bar that's a UCLA fan who's losing her mind when uh, UCLA ties it up. And then she just almost bursts into tears when they make the three-pointer from like half court. Well, I mean, people are saying it is the most exciting finish to a collegiate basketball game that we'll ever see. Yeah. It beats Christian Leitner beating uh, Kentucky, I think it was. I I believe it does. Yeah, it does. How much? And it's disappointing, man, because the Cinderella story, crazy undefeated season. Yeah, UCLA 11. And then, of course, Gonzaga faces Baylor in the finals and just gets blown out. I think they left everything on the court against UCLA, and that's what killed them against Baylor. Baylor plus also played fantastic. They had them down 9 to nothing at the very beginning of the game. It was shut down at the very beginning. They never lost the lead the whole time. Yeah, it, it, it seemed a little... Yeah, it was disappointing. I love it when the, uh, and this makes me crazy, but uh, the actual Cinderella story never plays out. Like the movie doesn't play, because it actually makes me feel better that nothing matters and it's all just randomness. Did you think it was gonna? But when things do sometimes play, like when Tom Brady wins the Super Bowl, like that, that played that, out. It makes me question. I'm like, man, that's uh, crazy that that happened. And because you don't this, call in your, this banner, yeah, you know, well, you don't call your shots very often. It makes me, in a weird way, think that the NFL is not as legitimate. It makes me, in a weird way, think they're all in on it because it was a better story. Mm. Well, I don't know, and don't that's not so. fair. Yeah, yeah, you I'm just yeah. glad we did the bit today because if yesterday I would have said bet the house on Gonzaga, I would have too. I'm just glad. Yeah, I would have told you guys, well, yeah, for sure, bet on it. But thank God I wouldn't have been wrong. Well, here's the thing. You would have technically, that would have been a good bet because they would have lost if not for a crazy, uh, statistically unlikely shot that uh, most people, well, I mean, that shot that they made, uh, well, I, I think it was like you, 45 feet or whatever, like statistically insane. 15% chance, 10%, you know what I'm saying? So... Uh, they actually had a 90% chance of losing at that moment. So just because they won at a, like a crazy long distance buzzer beater. Doesn't necessarily. It, yeah, yeah, I, I mean, you, you were on the right side technically, the, the, but I, by happenstance and look, you, you would have lost. But uh, yeah. yeah. Now, when you do that and you make that shot, I did see the memes of like the person celebrating to a bunch of cardboard cutouts and stuff. It does take it away that there's no audience there, right? A little bit. A certain percentage gets the moment 
you know, is I'm, not as good as another person that made a last minute buzzer beater. Right? I, I am nothing to compare it to, considering I've never fully accomplished something great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, when I, I do, I will let you know. Well, I'm talking about like through the history of college basketball. There's been a lot of mm. these, and all the other ones are technically on a scale better than this well, one. Maybe just, you're being negative. Maybe this one's better. Because there were no people Maybe. there. Why, oh, no, would, no, how would that make it better, though? Well, I don't know. How, would it, how would it make it worse? Is, uh, maybe it may, well, maybe we you're inside your own point. head and you love it. Well, there's not as much of people going crazy. Maybe you don't like that. Maybe, you don't, maybe you don't thrive on that. Maybe you like it more. Maybe you just want time to reflect. <laughs> well, I will, you know what? Uh, no, no, no. It's no, I, you, I'm agreeing thing, right? with you. Tom, do you like the troll thing? Like The best thing was when we were at the Rose Bowl, 95% of the audience was all Nebraska fans when we were at the Rose Bowl. And there was only like a sliver of UM fans. And it was fun to see how quiet it was when we won at the Rose Bowl. I could see that, yeah. the uh, that That's a thing in sports that has always bothered me when you win a championship in the other person's home court. And you're celebrating, going crazy, the confetti, you know, because and then everybody's I, I mad. At, I was at one of those. It was, it was very bad. uncomfortable. And, 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 and those two, I feel like those teams that won a championship, and like obviously not NFL, but like basketball, it happens all the time. Mm-hmm. It's like you finish off the series at the other at your opponent's home court, and you're celebrating, and then everybody there, besides from a small yeah. little, you know, like you're there, you can't even hear. It. It's like complete silence. Well, they've had happened the season after orlando city won their u.s their first usl title we had a, a like a, a scrimmage in tampa against the rowdies and very much a lot of dislike there between orlando yeah, city yeah, yeah. and the rowdies and they presented in the rowdy stadium they presented a commemorative trophy to orlando city yeah, that, that was stupid uh, after <laughs> so. after marching in we had had multiple fights walking in yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Andrew and I are sitting there, and it's just people yelling. It's like, "Oh, you!" And then the security's like, "Right." And I'm like, "What are you doing? Why do you even do? Why do you even do that?" That's called having no foresight, or like, you know, like managed, <laughs> management. Weird. Thing, bad it was like, idea. Yeah, it was just weird planning. All right, EJ, let's get to uh, to some nerd stuff. Nerd stuff. Okay, uh, let's talk about. Okay, do you know what yesterday was in nerd uh, news? Oh, uh, beware the fifth of the Sith, or what do you guys always say that? Um, no, no, that's it's gotta be May. May. It's that's gotta be May. May. <laughs> no, uh, April, May the fourth be May, with, the fourth you. Be with April, you. April the fifth. Four, three, two, one. It's all yeah, that one. I don't know. Han, Han Solo's butt plug. I don't know. It's just some dumb crap. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just want to see uh, Tom's eyes when I say this. On uh, April the fifth, twenty sixty-three is First Contact Day. That's when uh, Cochran met the Vulcans for the first time. Oh my god! I don't even know what you're talking about. (laughs) (laughs) It's Star Trek: First Contact. Oh my god! I don't don't even remember the dates my uh, family died. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? Like I don't remember. No, I I don't remember those. The death dates are the only ones I remember. I I remember that June 19th, my dad died. Yeah, no, no. I don't. I don't keep any of that knowledge because it. I just dumped his ashes in uh in the bay at West Palm Beach. So, I. So, I have the death dates of my relatives tattooed inside my cheek, so my last dying <laughs> breath will be their wish of complete and utter revenge. <laughs> so, what is this supposed to signify? I'm laughing. Some... It's when we made first contact with aliens, and it was official. But we didn't. Re- but see... we didn't really do it, so that because it, it's so it's stupid. it hasn't happened yet. Yeah. It's not till 2063. No, but my point is, it's not. It has not happened, so it's stupid. Mm-hmm. It's not real. <laughs> I know. I just wanted to see Tom's face. It's one of my favorite things to do. So okay. What so do, what do you nerds do when this day comes? Like <laughs> annoy uh, They just post it on social media. Oh, okay. No, right. you do the vol- the, 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 the trick. It's gonna be my to who? <laughs> everyone you walk by. Everyone. You're supposed to be nice to everyone because it shows that we're all united as a one mm, human kind. Oh, Co exist. Force be with you. Ooh, I'm going to <laughs> movies. <laughs> you nerds. Oh. All right. Uh, Okay, since you guys like to hate on stuff, uh, did you guys see the Space Jam trailer? No. I cannot oh, watch it's it. it's so bad. <laughs> it's bad? It looks utter garbage. Well, they got and LeBron James as LeBron the uh, James main character. LeBron James is the most wooden person in the world. Like, think of the worst actor you could think of. LeBron James is worse. Isn't like, there some controversy over uh, the Clockwork Orange gang being in Space Jam 2? or? That and also there, it basically looks like Ready Player One because like the Iron Giants in it, and so is Godzilla and King Kong. Okay, you want to see it? Hold on, what's the controversy over the 
a clockwork or orange thing. Well, well they, because they're actual rapists yeah. they're rapists. that were in yeah. the yeah. movie. Yeah. They, and murderers. And they, they took uh, out Pepe Le Pew because they said it was too, yeah, uh, they, like, sexual assaulty. And then they scene? left the clockwork yeah. orange. Remember where they, they do the home invasion? He yeah. pulls the lady and he cuts her tees out of her bikini or shirt. And never seen that yeah. movie. Oh! oh. It's, yeah. those those are the, it's a really uh, screwed up movie. statue. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's a really I mean, it's good, but it, they shouldn't be in a children's movie. <laughs> I mean, and look, why, I why would they do that? Why, it's not even relevant. I have who, no idea why who, they're in there. Like, I've never seen Clockwork Orange. I know a lot because of people have. Because they're but. supposedly in, like, a, a server farm is the, the new, instead of aliens coming down to fight them, like, War Machine is the head of the servers, and he has to play to get his kid back. I know. Do you want to see any I'll, of this trailer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll put a little of the trailer on here. Basketball camp is next weekend. You got amazing potential on the court, and I can help you get there. That's not what I want, Dad. You never let me do what I want to do. You never let me just do me. Hold up, wrong floor. That Will Smith ain't got to deal with this. Dad! Down! What in the Matrix hell? Welcome to the what do you think? What do you think? All right. I mean, I'm okay with it. It's. Have you, when's the last time you guys have seen the original Space Jam? Never seen it. Never seen that? Never it's seen been a long never time. Never seen Space Jam. I never had the end. I wasn't like, yeah. Went About in three it. weeks ago. I watched it with my kids. Yeah, I went, I watched it la- or d- d- like during the pandemic, I think in the summer with uh, Tommy and Max. And Did they like it? They were half into it, half out of it, because there was a lot of live action that they didn't care about in the basketball. They not they probably really, like the cartoons. The cartoons they cared about, sure. but they were only they excited They didn't like Sean Bradley? They don't know what they, you know. <laughs> oh my they God, Sean Bradley. And Dude, so, he's paralyzed. Did you hear about that? No, how? He got hit by a car while he was riding his bike and got paralyzed. My God. Really? And he's right? like super tall. How does he even ride a bike? I don't know. That's that like a spe- I'm, I'm not joking. Bike. He would have to have a uh, he would have to have a special bike, wouldn't he? Like seven six. D- did he get like uh, paralyzed from the like uh, his legs or like? Uh, I don't know if he's paraplegic or quadriplegic, uh, but I know I was just reading a story about it a little while ago that he got hit by a car while he was riding a bike. He got paralyzed. Poor man. man. Jeez, Why Louise. would you say that? Because <laughs> yeah, we're talking about, about Space down. Jam yeah. Two, and you go into Sean Bradley's paralyzed. <laughs> Wait, but well, he, I would rather see Sean Bradley paralyzed in Space Jam Two than LeBron James. The that is the cold, original man. Space Jam was corny and cheesy. So this one is the same. You know, it's a it's yeah, not it's a, corny. And, it's a family yeah. basketball movie. What do you expect? Yeah, yeah. It's and it's got superstars in it. Kids will be they'll like it. Like, what's the the perfect gauge range of this movie, like from six to eleven or whatever, Probably. you know, yeah, yeah. six to right. twelve, yeah. something you know, like that. It's like maybe teenagers not going to be interested, but uh, you know, they see LeBron and all their. I mean, who, what other stars or NBA stars are in this? Um, there's probably a uh, lot, Anthony right? Anthony Davis, I think, is supposed to be in it. And I can't remember the other three because supposed supposedly they get like the Mon stars again, but they're like modern NBA players and one WNBA player. They probably had a little bit of an issue, like back in the in like the early '90s. Like uh, there was no social media, internet, or like so yeah. we didn't know. Some guys are problematic. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know all yeah. like. Well, they had R. Kelly singing the theme song. Remember? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our, yeah. Well, I believe like, I can fly. Uh, Jordan's gambling, cheating on his wife. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I mean, like, yeah. Like those yeah, guys are guys, totally fine. You know, and it's like, amazing that LeBron's even in this, right? Considering the fact that that guy. I mean, he, how hard do you think he has to like? Insulate his entire camp and just be. Oh, he's he's squeaky clean. Yeah, pretty right. Much. He has yeah. to be right. Yeah, yeah. And, and he's smart about it. Yeah, but there's you know the uh, and a lot it's of got to be difficult. A lot of NBA players kind of followed his lead in that living that kind of lifestyle of like, hey, you got to protect your brand and you can don't f up. You know what I'm saying? Some of the greats you see do it, like your LeBrons, your David Beckham's. They kind of like even though because they know they're under attack constantly, so they're just kind of tucked oh, in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know? He just goes home and does reading- his does his Legos at his man. I, but I do miss the Iversons of yes, the world where that's you exactly just exactly who I was thinking about when you said it. You just hang out with hip hop stars, you smoke weed all you, and know, you say anything yeah, yeah, yeah. you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh and, well, look look at what's happened to Paul Pierce. Have you seen that story? A little bit. I've I've seen him uh, get kicked out. I uh, saw headlines. He's, he's kicked off of ESPN because he was uh, like smoking weed and hanging out with strippers on his Instagram stories. And there was only like <laughs> three hundred and fifteen people watching him on Instagram and it ruined his life. 
Why would he do it? That oh, I thought you were about to say. I was like, like why? Because I understand. <laughs> I totally get the part where you they go back and find something you said, uh, you know, fifteen years ago and cancel you mm-hmm. because fifteen years ago you thought like, ah, it's not that bad. But the like, you know, the world you live in currently, and you know, like the politics of the NBA, just because you've been in it for so long and you're high Is it level. Because you're inebriated. Yeah, but yeah, even that if was part you, of it probably. But even if you're inebriated, you still, no matter how drunk I am, like I know the repercussions of posting something that would be detrimental to my career. I feel like I'm not <clears throat> like totally insane, like drunk or the point, like I'll post anything because nothing like I just I don't know, man. Like, well, how does he not think about normally this? when you ask this and this question comes up a lot where we where we ask the question, how could this even right? And normally Happen, the, yeah. normally the answer is it slipped his mind. Yeah, it's mostly they probably just aren't thinking about how they're not thinking of consequences, right? They're just thinking of, hey, I'm having a good time. I'm going to show people I'm having a good time, not thinking about how it could affect them. Yeah, but yep. in a day and age where for sure you're 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 familiar with social media and how it works and then you see every I th- day I think a lot of people just think oh it won't happen to me god it's just it's crazy you're paul pierce it, like you're the, like, like of course extremely crazy anyway it We're seems way over. Uh, oh so oh god <laughs> oh man we didn't get to loki we didn't get knives out or suicide squad too well mm, we uh, talked to a giant that rode a bike through some mountains i thought you were talking about the guy that was riding the the lawnmower across the state or something yeah, yeah, we, we did talked that to him too. <laughs> if you <laughs> ride anything for yeah. far distance we'll talk to you it's the a walk across the it's whole a new state. bit yeah, we're doing true. called who's riding <laughs> 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 all right he's save the stories for next week uh guys all right uh, i'll you know. mark them all right. right. I love you guys. Uh, okay. so, you know. I love you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I love yeah, you too. Yeah. Bye I know bye. you do. <laughs> 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 That's what I'm sort of saying. <laughs> bye bye.